Hi. Welcome, you guys. Welcome. Yay. So I hope you guys are doing good. And I hope everything's going well for all of you. I was planning on starting a little earlier, but I've had a few hiccups. So what I'm going to, I'm going to share some happy mail that I got, which I'm like totally over the moon about. And then I'm going to, you know what, let me fix my camera. And then I am going to, I am going to make some serendipity paper. So for those of you that haven't, hey Jennifer, I'm doing good. How are you? So I'm going to share a little bit of Happy Meal and then like I was saying, we're going to make some serendipity paper and we're also going to make some, hi Rose, we're going to make some fabric, a couple fabric bead necklaces or maybe at least one. So what you need to make along is this is my happy mail I'm going to share with you guys. I'm just, I was so, I was so surprised. So we need to make along for serendipity paper is just some scrap paper, scrap bits. And that's it. And a glue stick. And, uh, then, and what you need for your fabric bead, uh, fabric bead necklace that we're going to make is some fabric scraps and some ribbon and some beads, some wire. I don't know. You'll see as we go along, it's really not that hard. Hi, Scotty. I'm live on the big screen. Oh no. If you guys, in a couple of weeks, I will tell you guys what I've been going through and you'll understand why like my life has been just a little out of control, but it's getting better. So anyway, let me share with you guys some happy mail that I got. I got two surprise packages of happy mail and I was like, so, I was so surprised and it was amazing. So I have a wonderful friend. Her name is Gina and, um, she and I are in a couple of groups together and she knows that I like to make altar playing cards and I don't know we got into a conversation about cards or altar playing cards and then I got this in the mail so it was like such a nice surprise everybody shout out who's here I can't wait to, to see all of you and um but I want to share so she sent me this this is so cool this is for this is I think it's really cool look at this amazing little card she made me okay you ready and she it looks like she might have stamped on it and decoupaged a napkin, added some stickers, did a little painting. Ready to see what it is on the other side? It's the throwaway business reply. Isn't that not brilliant? It's a throwaway business reply and she wrote to Shelly, love Gina. Isn't that sweet? So that gives all of you an idea what to do with these. I love making stuff. I usually add these to my junk journals, but isn't that great? And then she sent me some cool little stamped images and some she lives on an old farm and she said she was cleaning out some stuff on this old farm and she found all these old receipts from like, these are from like the 50s. Isn't that cool? This one's from 1956 and this one's from 1954. This one's from 1955. Isn't that cool? Hi, Elaine. Hi, Fran. Hi, Dee. So she sent me these cool things, these little bits, and then she sent me some stamped images and she wrote me a lovely letter, which I have to say made me laugh and cry. And then I want you guys to see all the cool playing cards she sent me. She sent me these really amazing playing cards. Like some of them I like so much, I don't know if I'm gonna do anything with them. It's like, hey Jen, I know, right? Nice stuff, yep. I'm like too, super excited. But wait till you see, aren't these beautiful? These like horse ones? They're just beautiful. Isn't that neat? And then she sent me some Las Vegas ones, which I love. Can you guys see that too? And then she sent me some old, just some old, but they, they've been used so much, so they're fading. And I love them. And they're kind of embossed. So when you feel them and you touch them, there's a raised surface. She sent me a set of those. And then she sent me, these are fun. Aren't these fun? Like, look at these. These are super fun. Right? And then she sent me these beavers, which I love. I mean, these have tropical birds on them. Can you guys see the tropical birds? And then these are some beavers that she sent me. And then she sent me some, these are so cute. These have dogs on them. Like, look at these. Aren't these sweet? Like, I love them. 
and they came open the post office actually they came open in the <laughs> in the post office in the box and they wrapped it up and then she sent me some <clears throat> these things called tell it like it is it must be from a game and it's like that's super cute too and then she sent me some other cards anyway now I have more playing cards than I know what to do with I know total score so for those of you that are swapping with me I may include some of these fun cards in my journals that I'm making you guys because now I have more than enough right so the, I got this from my lovely friend Gina and she is she's such a doll I said well what can I send you in return and she said you're my friend nothing right now she's she was like oh wait I didn't even get to show you all the bits she sent me let me just move my card my playing card extravaganza away I'm gonna put them back in the box so that I don't end up I need to I need to find a home for them I have not recovered from my daughter's organization yet you guys I have not recovered okay I am still I, anyway I'm appreciative that she did it but I can't find some stuff I was working on right before I left and so and she's in Japan so the time difference is a little bit crazy so I haven't been able to um and she may not even know where she put them because that's just how it rolls in my life but that's okay because you know it just shows me like when somebody says can you can I clean up for you or I feel like I want to organize just say no say the big N-O Okay, so that was some of the stuff she sent me. Well, wait, let me show you guys this really cool little tin she sent me. I love making ATCs. How many of you guys make ATCs? And for those of you that are new and don't know what it is, it's an artist trading card. And they're generally like two and a half by three and a half. Um, although I have received a few smaller ones. Okay, look at this really cool little tin she sent me. And this was just, this was just, I love it. She sent me this little tin, and then it has like little bits in it. And then she sent me another little tin inside of this tin, and inside of it are little fabric flowers and little bits and cutouts. And and then she sent me little tags. And so I may alter these tins too. So I was like super. You no, know, it was just so sweet. She didn't need to send them to me, and and I was just. I don't know. You guys know me. I'm a big old crier anyway, so it, was, it made me cry, but I love them. They're, it's just, and these were fish-shaped candy mints, and I love the tin. And then she sent me a little piece of lace, which I may use today if I use, if I make a pink tassel. And so, that was one set. Okay, and now wait, are you ready for the next one that I got? Now this one, this is from my friend Martha, okay? And she sent me a lovely letter, and look what she sent me. Okay, you guys, this was like, this made me cry. I have to tell you because, you know, you take for granted the stuff that you guys get at a yard sale or at a, you know, all those things, right? Here, where I live, there there is none of this. Okay, so you can't just like go out to a thrift store and grab some vintage anything so she sent me this box of vintage laces and doilies and stuff and pieces and bits that she got because she collects textiles and I have to tell you look at this isn't it beautiful I mean just beautiful I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them yet I, I was so moved and overwhelmed by it yesterday that and it came at the perfect time because yesterday it was just a really not let's just say energetically I was having a really rough day <laughs> it was one of those days where I should have just gone back to bed but isn't this cool I mean this is just gorgeous just gorgeous the bits and pieces that she sent me like some of them are so nice I don't even want to cut them up and you know me I cut everything up they're just beautiful I love them so I don't know what I'm going to make with them, but shout out to my friend Martha, who is amazing, who surprised me, like, I don't even know, like, I hadn't spoken to her in a little while, I've, because I've, well, I was gone, but before that, I've just been busy, and like everyone else, just get caught up in my own life, you know, and so 
she just like sent me these really beautiful textiles. How many of you guys garage sale and try to find these really beautiful little amazing bits of fabric? I'm just, it's, I was just so moved. I was like, oh my gosh, some of them are just so gorgeous that I just can't even, like look. Can you see? I don't even... Can you guys see how beautiful the bits are here? I mean, they're just so nice. So how many of you guys collect this sort of vintage stuff? Hey, Michelle, how are you? So shout out to my friend Martha who, like, sent me the most amazing so if you think about it you know all of our grandmothers probably my grandmother did I don't know about all of you but my grandmother did all this tiny crocheting and knitting and tatting and so lost art you know all these beautiful you come in at vintage linen yes yes Michelle this was like this was like a surprise. It was a surprise box for my friend Martha who just, I mean, it just goes on and on. It's amazing what you can send in one of these little tiny boxes. I mean, isn't this beautiful? Do you have a ton? Hey, Ash. Well, I don't have a ton anymore. When I used to live on the mainland, when I used to live in New York, I would frequent yard sales and thrift stores and go antiquing on the weekends with friends, and I would find all kinds of cool stuff. When I moved to Hawaii, I left all of that behind. This is so nice. This is such a beautiful piece of linen. I may make a Christmas ornament. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Christmas ornaments, or I don't know. Anyway, so when I moved here, I didn't, I didn't bring anything with me. I let it all go, and so now it's like, no, right, Dad? These are our wonderful. I feel like, I'm, and do you see the box just goes on and on? It was one of these really tiny boxes, and look at this. This is like a vintage handkerchief. It's just so beautiful. Anyway, so I left all that behind, and, and I, I didn't even think twice about it until you get someplace and you go, oh, and now I don't have it. These are so delicate. I do not know what I'm going to do with them, but can you see the details in them? I don't know if you can see that. You, Scotty writes, she hasn't bought these vintage items for working with, but she has lots handed down to you. Oh, that's awesome. You know, Scotty, I do have some hand-stitched quilts from my grandmother. Both, obviously, my none of my grandmothers are living. My parents are gone, too, but I have one of my grandmothers when I was about 10, and I'm in my 50s, made me a quilt. And she said, I may not be around when you get married, but I want this to be your wedding quilt. And it has tulips, bright red tulips on it, and I love it. And I've used it for years, but I have a bunch of her quilts. She used to give you a choice of money or quilts for Christmas, and obviously everyone took a quilt. So I have a lot of her vintage stuff, but I don't have any, you know, I didn't save any of this sort of stuff when I was moving. When you move from, everything is so expensive to move, and... No, I didn't bring it with me. Look at this one. Can you guys see the lace? The lace on it has um, little pieces of fruit and little goblets. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see the fruit and the goblets. Can you see the fruit and the goblets? I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's beautiful. Hi, Renette! You're not late. I just started. We haven't even been going but a few minutes. So, I don't know if you can, guys can see this, but it's got, like, really cool little things on it. And then there's some more in the bottom. And this was my, and then this one, which is gorgeous, but this was my favorite piece. I think I'm going to make myself a purse and sew this on as a pocket. I just love it. I love the colors. I love everything. I know. What a wonderful gift, right? I was so surprised. So, this was what I got in the mail yesterday. I don't usually share my happy mail because... You know, it's like ridiculous. I love getting happy mail and I love sending happy mail, but I just I had to share with you guys because it was just, a, and all that fit in this little tiny box. Can you believe it? It fit in one of these little tiny priority small flat rate boxes. I was so, I was so touched. 
Okay, girl. So, let me put my little note up. <clears throat> so that is what I got in my, in my Happy Meal. So tell me what's going on with you girls, and I'm going to set up my... I thought what we'd do first is make the... How many of you are going to make along with me and make the fabric beads and tassel necklace? How many can you guys let me know? Let me know out of all of you who is going to participate. And I'm going to get myself together to, to make... I have all the stuff real close by, but I don't have... It was such a wonderful surprise. I was so... Oh, there's a snake in your backyard. Oh, well, that's good. You know, the one thing about Hawaii is there is no snakes. Can you believe that? No snakes. If there's any snakes, people brought them here, and they really frown upon that sort of thing. Okay, so if you're going to make along, what you need are some fabric strips. And if you're going to make along and make your fabric beads like I do with the corbing paper, you need some paper. Okay, you need book pages. Oh, you're going to make along too, Michelle? Awesome! Um, so if you're going to make your fabric beads with a core like mine, because I make mine with a paper core, you need, you need a book page, okay? And you need some wire, you need some beads, you need some seed beads, which I have a few here, and you need some fabric and lace or ribbon, and we're going to make all the components and then we're going to put them together, okay? So you don't even need a lot of fabric, but you just need some colors you like. And I was going to make them in neutral colors, but girls, I couldn't find... I have a stash of neutral fabric. I don't know where it is. It was like, because of my lovely daughter, it used to be all very close by, but it isn't. So I think what I might do is I think I may be making mine in turquoises or blues. Let me just see what I can find. Maybe turquoise, blues, and purples. I don't know. So you need a couple, you need some fibers, you need some ribbon, you don't need it, you can you do it without it, but it'll look better if you have some fibers and some bits. I think this is, I don't know, I have a bag, I have a bag of fibers, so I just gotta find my, my color palette. So tell me what you guys have been making this week. Tell me what you girls have been making this week. Tell me about your week. I have had... Even though the week just started yesterday, I have had a week already. I could, I could write a book with the week I've had, or the coming back and all the stuff I've had to do. Just give me one little minute, girls. I'm looking for my color palette going on here. So you just need to pick out a couple of pieces of fabric and some. Let me just see what I have. I have some greens. Let me see. I don't know if I'm liking that or not. I had a different idea in my mind. So shout out and tell me what you girls are up to while I'm like going through my pile of stuff right here to try and figure out what I'm going to... Maybe I can make it in pink. Hmm. Oh, I have pink. Well, let me read what you... You're doing your index card today. Awesome. And lots of yard work. I have done no yard work. I need to. You're trying to decide what to take. <laughs> Deb says she's trying to decide what to take on when she's take with her when she's traveling. Um, you know, I am the world's last minute packer, so I can relate to like trying to figure out what you're going to take with you. I I am not a good input there. I take as little as possible, and then I still think, and then I still end up with too much. Does that make sense? I may not even be able to do a color palette. I may just be, have to do an eclectic color palette because this just seems like where it's flowing for me today. The problem is I kind of wanted some cool beads, but I don't... Oh, you guys. Give me a week or so and I'll tell you what has been going on in my world. And it, it has been ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Okay, you definitely want some contrasting. Like, you don't want it to be all the same color palette. You do want some contrasting stuff going on here, but... 
You know how you have it in your head what you want to do and you know that you have the stuff to do it? I should have spent like an hour before I started gathering all my stuff, but I didn't. I, my littlest daughter is in camp, or my youngest daughter's in camp, so I've been doing stuff with her and doing camp stuff. And It's day camp. It's not like sleepaway camp or anything like that. So get your fabric. I'm almost done. I've almost found enough pieces to start. And I will begin in a minute, very shortly, very, very, very shortly. What are you guys ready? You want to go antique shopping? Ah, uh, I think that's awesome. I think you should do so. Go some make, go antique shopping. You know, as I was mentioning earlier, that just doesn't happen here. So there is no, there is no real antique shopping here. You know, so. I wish I could go antique shopping with you too. I think that would be super, super, super fun. I think I would love that if I could go antique shopping with you. Now, if you guys are gonna make serendipity paper with me in just a little bit too, just get some scrap paper and a glue stick, okay? And if you have a die cutting machine, that's really cool because you can make some really cool stuff with it right away. Otherwise, you're gonna have to cut it freehand and you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to cut it freehand with your cut it freehand. But anyway, so maybe I maybe it looks like I'm gonna be making greens because that's what it seems like I have right here. I have some green, and that may be what I'm making it with. Green, 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 green. Okay, so the first thing that you guys need is you need to tear your fabric and I'm gonna see how many different colors of green that I have available but you need to just tear you need some fabric strips okay you might want to decide what the dominating color for your tassel is and if you if this is your first time to ever make fabric tassels you can make them let me see I have a box of them somewhere close by oh, I thought I did I thought I brought it over here with me but you guys, remember I told you guys I got a little dog, and I love, I'm in love with her, okay, I love her. Yesterday, she got like crazy spooked over something, and she bit me. And so, yesterday, my hand was like throbbing, and I couldn't, what I normally do and use and have, I couldn't do. So, you want to do, okay, where, you also want flowers and birds? You want a book, or ten books on flowers and birds? Ah, ephemera. It's talking about ephemera. Awesome. I love ephemera. Yeah, I'm, I'm there with you. Okay, so if you use a natural fiber, you can tear it. So you just want to cut one end and then you can tear. And I like the look of that. But And you can cut it in various sizes. Now, serendipity paper is just one of a kind paper. I made some years ago with one of my kids. I don't even, can I tell you, I don't even remember like what the rhyme or reason or how we even got into doing it, but, and I don't even know how it got its name, okay, quite honestly. Um, but it's just one of a kind paper and you can make it with scraps, like your scrap bits of paper. You can make it with anything really. You can make it with junk mail if you want. You can make it with uh, book pages. You can make it with, um, you can make it with a bunch of different things. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make some serendipity paper in just a few minutes or in just a little bit after we make our tassel, our, our tassel necklace. If she bit me, no, she, and you know what it is, is she was abused, okay, and the dog was abused, and so, you know, The dog was abused, so she, I'm sorry guys, I thought I turned my ringer off on my phone, but for whatever reason, it's not turned off. So the dog bit me, and she, I don't think, my partner says he doesn't think that she even knows that she bit me, because of the way she's been acting, but um, my hand swelled up. It was like, she bit me on the hand, so my finger was hurting and swelling, and um, so that's what was going on. So that was my day yesterday. That was coupled with a bunch of other things. Yeah, she's a sweet dog, and I love her. Like, 
I can't imagine what she's been through. Like, she's so sweet, and she's little. I mean, so, like, whatever they did to her, she's tiny, you know? Okay, so for making a fabric tassel, let me just, I want to tear a few more pieces. I need a couple of more pieces besides these two. So for making a fabric tassel, it's really very easy. Um, if you go back and look at one of my, I made a whole bunch of fabric tassels. If you go back and look at, I have one where I made bead caps, you know. But um, anyway, you want a bunch of varying sizes of fabric, depending upon how long you want your strips. And you want the more uh, fibers and things and bits that you put in it, the better it's going to look. And I don't know if I'm going to... If you have, like, all sorts of... And you can put, like... You can even do the same thing with paper. You don't have to just do it with... You don't have to just do it with... Um, with fabric. You can do it with paper, too. Just trying to pick out a piece of the ribbon that I like. So, that is what I'm doing. What are you guys writing? I can't even see. It's hard to, like, for any of you guys that do live streams, it's hard to. Hang on a second. Will you grab me a glass of water? Is that possible? Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's hard to, while you're filming or whatever, it's hard to. Just add water. I don't need ice. Um, it's hard to make your to read the chat and at least it is for me. It's hard to read the chat and um, thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry, my my honey went to get me water. Okay, let me read what you guys are writing. You made ta tassels to the similar out of the kettle chip bag. Awesome! Hi, crafty girl. Have I unpacked from my trip? No. You're in, you're unpacking from your trip too? I haven't unpacked from mine. I haven't. You guys give me one little second. Hey, can you do me a favor? Um, my phone keeps ringing and can you call back the last person that called me and just tell her that I'm live streaming? One of my kids keeps calling me and I'm, I'm sure she's going to keep calling me until I answer. So, let me see. So, I am glad that I'm back. I missed all of you. Alright, so strip your fabric. Strip your fabric. Decide the size of your tassel and strip your fabric. This one's going to go on a necklace, so... Um, I am making it kind of small, but you could make a really big one, and it would be awesome. I've made big ones for... Um, journaling charms and, and that sort of thing. I unpacked some of my stuff from my trip. I didn't even take that much stuff with me, but the problem is since when I got home, I told you guys my daughter, my older daughter moved to Japan. And so I was, and she reorganized my space while I was gone. <laughs> and then yesterday I just, I had so much, I, I have my to-do list seemed to grow bigger than it's definitely larger than what I can do right now. So I would put at least hmm, I don't know. It needs some more fabric bits. I just need to find some more color, some more green fabric. You can also put ribbon in it. I like to, you know, if you have some really cool fibers and ribbons, you can put that in your tassel as well. They're kind of addictive, aren't they, Renette? Making tassels. Oh my gosh. I've made I've made tassels out of the most bizarre stuff, you guys. I made one time I went to a, went to this gathering with a bunch of people and, and they wanted they needed decorations. I don't know. Anyway, we ended up making all this ridiculous stuff out of like I don't know. I made a, a whole bunch of stuff out of a drop cloth that you would uh Use for um, thank you, thank you. Um, I made a, I made a. I just gotta get up and get some more fabric. I made a, a 
whole, I would, now I'm kind of regretting not taking some pictures of it, but I made some amazing stuff out of a drop cloth, like a, a painter's drop cloth. And we had some paint, and I made some, I made all kinds of crazy stuff. I've done, you name it, I've done it in my life. I won't say I've done it all well, but I've done it all the same. So, I guess, I guess that's all that matters, right? Whether you do it well or not, if you just do it. I don't know, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so I probably wouldn't show people the stuff that I made unless I really loved it or unless I thought, oh, you know. I show you guys, and I'm a little bit over it now. The older I get, I'm a little bit more over the perfection part. But... Okay, I have a bag of green fabric, and of course I can't find it. And of course I can't find it. Give me one second, girls. I'll be right. I'm sorry. Can you do me a favor? Can you hand me a towel? I managed to spill that big, huge glass of water you gave all over the floor. So, while I got up, I knocked my glass of water over you guys. That is how my day is going. I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. And I wouldn't care except there's I wouldn't care except there's all these boxes of there's all these paper things on the floor here. So then now this is my day. Okay, I'm gonna breathe. And I should have started my day over, but I didn't. You tore strips of fabric and lace and different Yes, that's what you do. Tear strips of fabric and lace and then you make these really cool tassels and then you all right, this tassel is just going to have this. I'm sorry, you guys, I can't find my... Let me cut one more piece of ribbon. I found some kind of green sparkle stuff, so I, and I kind of like that, so I'm going to use that. Maybe I need some more ribbon. So, I promised you guys I would show you one of my journals, but I will next time. I wasn't prepared. So... That is how my life has been rolling lately, just like like the, the water spilling on the floor, you know? It just goes like that some days. So you just put all your bits together, fabric and ribbon and whatever else you have that you want that you think is going to look good with your... I'm going to add a couple more pieces of fabric. I definitely need some more. And you add it all in. This is Since this is the focal tassel, the one that's on top, I'm gonna, I'm, I am going to spend a little bit more time on trying to make it look good. Yes, breathe and press reset. <laughs> okay, I wasn't going to tell you guys this, but I'll tell you anyway. So, I, I was going to wait a few weeks. So, I have been, I live with a wonderful person, and we've lived together for about 10 years, and it's been really nice, and it's really super great, and he is really wonderful. I was married for a very long time, and it, not to him, to someone else, and it wasn't the best, okay? It wasn't a great marriage. You know how you just, I think what you like when you're in your 20s, and I admire all of you people that can stay married for 30 years and 40 years and 50 years. I really do. I totally do. I mean, that was my intention. I'm sure that's everyone's intention when they first get married. So, I have, I have wonderful children, most are grown. And I have a wonderful partner, and I've had this wonderful partner for the past 10 years. My former partner and I share assets. And he had made a lot of promises to our kids and done a bunch of stuff and is now going back on all those promises and I'm in the middle of a big, huge, ridiculous court case. So that is what I've been going through. And I have to tell you, it is so stressful and it brings up all my crap and it's really painful. So for any of you out there, I can't tell you how much I admire you for staying in a long-term relationship and I can't tell you how much I admire all of you who can manage to get through this stuff without being scathed or having anything 
you know, not feeling poorly with the other person because at this point, and you would think after all these years of not being in a relationship with him, I mean, we've been amicable, but you would think that I would be able to deal with it, but oh my god, it has been beyond stressful. And so that's what I'm going through. And so it's just, that's what I came back to. You know, I came back to a lot of crap that I thought was done a very long time ago. So, and the worst part is my kids. They're just, my girls are just so hurt. And I can't fix it, you know. I try really hard, but I can't fix it. Yeah, so that's what it is. That is what it is. So now I'm just going through, like, so yesterday I had to, like, go back and try and find paperwork from, like, 1992. I mean, shit like that. Pardon my French. It just crap like that. So, all right. So let's just forget about it. So that's why I'm, like, so scattered and why I wasn't prepared today. I was just, like, in my, I've been on the phone and just ridiculousness. Hopefully it'll all be over soon. Anyway, for all of you that, no pity party, but that's why I'm like not myself and just so distracted. And that's why that going on that trip was like so awesome for me, you know? It is hard when it's your children, Ash. I love my kids. I really do. My kids are awesome. I have really great kids. And you're right, it is really hard. Okay. Now we're going to get into a cheery space, and I'm sorry that I said it, but that's what's going on with me. Uh, anyway, that's why yesterday's Happy Meal was like, can I tell you I so needed it? I didn't even know I needed Happy Meal. Isn't it so silly? My, my friends think that I'm ridiculous, like, sending stuff to people, like, basically trash, you know? And so they think it's, like, so funny that I'm, like, sending trash to other people, and then I get excited when other people send me trash. Is that ridiculous? But I do. Thanks for listening, you guys. Okay. So strip your fabric and take your wire. Now, you could also use a piece of, uh, if you don't have any wire, use a piece of ribbon or use a piece of fabric that you've stripped. And you're just going to cross it over and you're going to wrap it, okay? And you're going to you're gonna wire wrap it like, like you would a bead. So you're going to take the smaller and use your fingers. You know me. I'm a jeweler, but it's been a studio jeweler for like 20 years, maybe even longer, actually longer than that. But your fingers are your best tool every single time, no matter what anybody tells you. Okay? So go ahead. And this is going to be part of a necklace. And hopefully I brought a pair of flat nose pliers over here with me. But anyway, thanks for the hugs. Yeah, you're right, Scotty. It will get better. But you know what I think the bummer for me is? Is is that I thought all these years that I have been so amazingly amicable with him and, you know, just worked everything I possibly can. And I feel so sorry for my current partner because my current partner, you know, he, he just catches the brunt of all my crap. And I love him more than anything. But I don't, honestly, girls, I don't know if I could ever get married again. I really don't. I don't know if I could ever, I mean, and I love him. It's not like I want another partner. No, and I know it sounds like it's weird when you call, like, I'm too old, I guess, to call him my boyfriend, right? So, anyway. I admire all of you who stay in marriages for a very long time. You know, I was married a long time. I was married 20 years. That's a long time in my world. And so, I thought all these years we were good. The thing is, he got a new girlfriend, so she thinks he's like the bee's knees and has everything, I think. I think, I don't know. I never experienced this side of him, so, I don't know. And the worst thing is, is that I, um, you know, I'm just not like that. I don't, I want the best in everyone. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Can you guys see it? Now you guys have gotten my ridiculous crying and stupid stuff. Okay. And I promised myself that I wouldn't cry anymore. I'm like over it, you know? 
I don't think I've cried as much lately in my whole life as I have lately. Okay, can you see? Happily single for seven years. <laughs> Good for you. Thanks, girls. Thanks for being on my side. And I'm sorry that I was like weepy and emotional. It's ridiculous, you know? I usually can hold it together, but today was just like, today was just too much. I spent like hours and hours and hours on the phone with lawyers. Okay, do you see this? So it's just wrapped like this. Now you're going to end up putting this part, you're going to end up wrapping and making an eye with it, but we don't need to do it right this minute. And we can add a bead to it because we're going to add it to our necklace, right? So that's the beginning of your tassel. All right, then the second part of your tassel is, okay, is take, you can take the same gauge wire that you had. It doesn't, any, any gauge will work. It's not, it's not the size of the wire. It is. It is uh, just the pliability. That's why you need to work with uh, dead soft wire. All right, let me read what you guys are writing. Oh, thanks for giving me a hug. I love you guys. Thanks for being here for me. And I'm sorry, I usually don't really talk about, I don't usually talk about my bad stuff. You have two butterfly two tattoos around your ankle, one for every X. Awesome, Scotty. And there won't be a third. My current partner is so wonderful. I have to tell you, we've been together for... Oh, a good long while, and he's just so nice, and he's great with my kids, and, you know, he, he's got wonderful kids, and I feel really blessed. You know, I do feel really blessed. I do feel it kind of sucks that he has to go through this crap with me, but, you know, what can you do? Okay, so you want to, now, if you guys watched my bead cap video, you guys could make a bead cap for this out of, uh, out of a, out of a, um, you can make a bead cap out of a tin can. I'm sorry. See, you guys, I can't even think clearly. That is, like, the worst part. I can't even think clearly. I did have a great time now in South America, okay? I am missing... I, I, I'm, I was, I was I'm missing the coffee and the food from there. Oh, my God. The coffee, can I tell you, is so nice. And it doesn't give you the jitters like the... And it's not decaf, so I don't know what we do to our coffee as a, Americans, but... Okay, can you guys see where I'm wrapping it around? Can you see the piece of wire is just wrapped around, okay? And we're just gonna wrap it around together. Now we can go back and after we're finished, I can we can go back and add some beads to it because I just don't know what color beads I'm gonna, I don't know what I want. I, I, I can't tell you what color hat themes going on in my head because right now there isn't much. <laughs> Scotty, good day. Good that I have a boyfriend and not and not a and just not a tat and just not a tattoo. You know, I don't have any tattoos. Okay, girls, my kids have tattoos and they tried to talk me into when I turned fifty to go get a tattoo. Can I tell you, after birthing three children, I don't know if I could do the pain of a tattoo. And for those of you that can, awesome. I think I'm a big weenie. I think I just. I'm just not a, I'm not a, I'm not brave. And nothing against tattoos, I just, I personally, I just can't do it. Isn't that ridiculous? Okay, I'm just going to add a little decorative swirl on my, on my, on my tassel. So if you're going to buy yourself a set of anything, you need a set of round nose pliers, which are these, which are round all the way around. A set of flat nose pliers, and you can get one smaller. I just, honestly, girls, I don't know where my tools, the, my favorite ones are. And you need a pair of wire cutters. You don't have to buy expensive of any of it, okay? You can buy really inexpensive. Beadsmith sells a super cheap set. You probably can buy a set of all three in a... You know, it's in a case or something from like a big box store. Okay, so I've just added a little swirl, a little decorative swirl to mine. Thanks, Renette. You have nine, nine tattoos or nine boyfriends, Michelle? <laughs> okay, Renette's telling us that she's got a tattoo on her hip for him. For her first husband. 
nah. You know what? If I get a tattoo, it's going to be for me. Nine boyfriends, Michelle. Good for you, Michelle. I'm glad you have nine boyfriends. Good. You know, girl, I can't even keep up with one. All right. I'm like, I'm like, all right. So we have, we have our tassel. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, you girls, I love you. Thank you for being my friends. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm thinking about Michelle and her nine boyfriends. Okay. Michelle, you have nine boyfriends. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my God. It's perfect. Michelle has nine boyfriends. All right, Michelle. Woohoo. You're so much better than me. Okay. Back to my green fabric. Okay, you guys. I'm the only person on the planet that can be sitting like right here and lose everything that's sitting right next to me. Here's some of my really big tassels I'll show you girls while I'm looking, while I'm gathering my green fabric. Okay, these are my big, big tassels that I made for journals. Okay, that's one of them. Then here's another one. So, I mean, you can go to town with these tassels. I mean, I love them. I like it. I like big tassels. That sounds terrible, right? Okay. And I like this green fabric, so I'm going to I'm going to focus on a few beads in this and then we'll focus on some other beads. What are you guys writing? <laughs> Hi Lucy. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? I don't even know what people are going to think when they w listen to this. And if this is the only video they ever watch with mine, they're going to think that I'm, I'm a big crybaby. All right, go find your beads. It, okay, so let me just talk to you a little bit about fabric beads. I like making fabric beads, and I put a, I make them where I put a paper bead in the center as a core. You don't have to do it that way. You can wrap them around a straw. You can, you can do all kinds of things with them. It just happens to be what I like, and it happens to be what works for me. Um, you can wrap a, you can, you can use the fabric as a bead itself. You do need something though on the inside, um, just so that it has some sort of stiffness to it. When I'm making my fabric beads, I, and I've made some, plenty of them without cores in them. Like if you're going to make one single point for a necklace, I'm trying to get some glue out girls. If you're going to make some sing, one single point for a necklace, then you don't necessarily need, um, a core, but I like it like that, okay? And I'm just using plain Elmer's glue to glue, and I'm not going to use it on the outside of the bead just to glue it in. All right, what do you guys? You spend more time looking for stuff than creating? Well, you know what? I used to have my little station where I'm filming for you guys set up so that I could really find it all, right? But when, my, when I went to South America, my daughter decided that she was going to help me, which I'm grateful that she did. Girls, I just, and I haven't had my head because of this whole ridiculous thing I'm going through. I haven't had my, um, I haven't been in my game, you know, so I hopefully, hopefully it'll all be over really soon in the next week or so. And then I'm going to reorganize my craft space. And then I promised you guys I would give you a tour of my craft space, which I will, because I want you guys to see that you can craft in any size space. Mine's not big. And I want you to see that, you know, you can do it no matter what. Like, I, hear, I get a lot of emails or whatever from people that say, oh, well, you know, you're, you must have all this. I don't. I don't, you guys. I'm just like you guys. I have what I have, and that's it. I don't have, like, a big, big, huge space to craft. Now, I do try to keep my fabric, um, I do tear it wide enough to where it covers both ends, like it goes over the end. And you want it, and I just put a little tiny bit of glue. And you, I can't even see if you guys can see me. I have a little bit of tiny glue, and I am... Just gonna, I put it on one end, and then I'm gonna bring my, I'm gonna go back over my bead, and I'm gonna cover, go back over it. it. Ash says that she's that she crafts on her couch, and if she can craft on her couch, she can craft anywhere. I agree with you, Ash. But I, you would be surprised the kind of comments and stuff uh, that people send me. They, I get like these, I get all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. 
I got one really mean, <laughs> mean one not that long ago. I don't even know if it's still up in my one of my videos, telling me that I, first of all, it was like a little bit of a crazy one, but she was like basically telling me that I'm destroyed. But I, it's, she kind of basically said I'm sacrilegious for taking books from landfills and cutting them up. I was like, in what way? You know, it's like. Now I'm just putting a little glue on the end of my fabric on either end so that it so that I can so that I can gather it up. You're the same as Ash. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now and it's in its ugly stage, but that's okay. All of your crafting supplies are being held hostage by the heat upstairs in your studio. Diana has an amazing studio, okay. Her, I think my space is the size of your table, Diana. But it's all good. Um, this is the ugly stage. Don't even think about it, girls. Beads are going to get in the ugly stage, and that's just what they do. So what you want to do is you just want to put a little glue on it, and then sort of like gather the ends a little. It doesn't even have to be perfect because you're going to wrap it again with wire so whatever imperfections you have are going to be covered up. So let's make hmm, let's make six beads and they can be all the same fabric or they can be different color fabrics. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do mine all the same because I'll, I'll just wrap them with different color beads and they can be different size beads. Okay, They don't have to be um, the same size. The only thing that you want to make sure is that um, is that your fabric is as big as the bead. Does that make sense? That your fa is, that your fabric covers the bead. Cut it this way. And let's do all of our beads at once. All right, girls. I would just use the glue bottle, but the nozzle is like shot. So I'm going to hand roll it and get my fingers gluey. Okay, what are you saying? I'm missing... You'd love to have a... So, so she's writing... Um, she'd like to have a dedicated craft room. But there's... But that's not where you're at. Hey, you know what? Can I tell you, one of my favorite people in the whole world crafts in an RV... She lives in an RV with her husband, and they travel. Just they just they decided that they didn't want to be tied down to their to their life or to a house. And I don't remember why. I mean, she shared with me, but honestly, that wasn't the important message for me. The important message was for me was that she carries her stuff where she goes and she enjoys it. I have another friend whose husband is a trucker, a truck driver, and now that all her kids are grown, she travels with him because otherwise she says she doesn't see him. And she crafts on the road in her truck. Can you imagine? I can't imagine. And I think that's awesome that she does that. Okay, so far I have two. I think I'm going to do six. So six or eight of various size beads. So you girls have at it. Make your six or eight beads. Now, for those of you that have never made a paper bead or that are making a paper bead like me, this is sort of the template that I use, okay? It's not it's not tiny skinny on one end, and it's fat on the other. Or you could even, mm, I don't, anyway, it, it, makes that, it makes the kind of bead you need. It doesn't really matter because you're not going to see the bead. So whatever beads you have are perfect. Whatever beads you have are great. So I'm just going to just going to make do my little things. Now the other thing that you need is a piece of ribbon. I want to say at least at least 6 inches of ribbon. You might need a little bit more. We're making this into a necklace, but it's not going to have a you could put a clasp on it, but it's not going to have a clasp on it. It's going to just fit over your head. Okay? Does that make sense? That's awesome, Dee. Dee's writing that, you know, she, after surgery, she crafted from her bed. You can craft anywhere. I agree with you. But, you know, sometimes 
and I don't know if you guys belong to any groups on Facebook that are, you know, that show, like, there's lots of them that, that'll say, oh, look at my craft room, and they have, like, some amazing craft rooms, and you're just like, wow, that's so awesome. It doesn't, it can be a little, it can be a little intimidating when you see that, and you see that people are, like, saying, I craft, I craft in my, you know, thousand square foot craft room. And you have a little card table or whatever you have. My space is super small. Um, it used to be the spare bedroom in our house. But when my oldest daughter came back to stay with me for a while before she moved to Japan, um, I took my dining alcove. And the house I live in is not big. It's By Hawaii standards, I guess it's big. But it's not big by mainland standards. I had a big house when I lived back in the mainland. And maybe I will do some other colors. Hmm. Let me just show you how we're gonna put it together and then maybe girls can put some input into it. Anyway, so, you know, I didn't, ha I don't have a big space. I don't have a big space anymore. And that's fine, I'm good with not having a big space. It, it's not, let me finish my six beads and then I'll decide what I'm gonna do next. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not unhappy with it. You have a great space, Diana. You have an amazing crafting space. I think your crafting space is awesome. I love it. I love it. But I love my crafting space, you know. My partner and I have been talking about, um, moving. Because he got a job on the other side of the island, and I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but... The island we live on, you can only drive 30 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour, and there's only one lane in and one lane out. And so sometimes if there's like, and we have these uh, flash fires, do you know what I mean? Like where, um, where, you know, things catch on fire because of when it's too dry. What does that call it? Does anybody know the name of that is? Anyway, we have that, so, we have that, so, you know, you can get stuck on one island, or one side of the island or another, but I really like my current house, so, I don't know, I don't know, if we, you know, we've been talking about it, we haven't come to any conclusion. You craft in your garage? Awesome. A brush fire, yes, Ash, a brush fire. I'm telling you guys, my head is not working these days. It is not working. It's ridiculous, but it's not working. Yeah, well, there it's a similar thing here. And the really sad bad thing is when is you can they'll shut down the you know, you can't drive on there's only one lane in and one lane out, so it'll drive it'll it'll keep traffic stop stuck on one side of the island. You know? Can you guys hear my little dog? She's trying to <laughs> she's digging. She's digging in my couch trying to find her own way. Okay, so I have, so I have four beads, and then my, hmm, I'm probably going to need a few more, and then maybe I'll make some, I wish I had another piece of fabric that I was like so in love with that I could see on this, but this will be fine. Um, so yeah, so she, uh, so we've been talking about moving, so the thing is, is that places here are not big. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, Oprah Winfrey has a house here and her house is enormous. But I'm saying the average person, the plain old person like me. And so, you know, I may have to cut down my thing. Okay, somebody else is writing, Renette's writing, her tiny dining room service. Yes, I have a, if you guys saw, I'm going to do, give me, I need a little bit more time before I could have shown you just the way it was, but now that she's moved all my stuff, it's like, I started looking through my stuff yesterday, trying to find the projects I was working on, and then I, I didn't, I, I didn't find the projects, and I've made a mess. She boxed everything up, that's the problem, it's not that she didn't anything to them, but I have to take everything out. Elaine, I don't have a dedicated brush for glue. I mean, I would say use a cheap one. I wouldn't use an expensive brush. 
and I like a fairly stiff bristled one. I bought a bunch of cheap, cheap, cheap brushes. They came in a package, like, don't know, like, you can buy them at a big box store. They're not natural bristled brushes, you know, they're all synthetic, which is fine with me. But, um, I don't. I used to, but I don't anymore. I, I mean, I, I don't use my watercolor brushes. I do have nice watercolor brushes, but the brushes that I use for acrylic paint and glue are probably interchangeable. But I, what I do do is I wash them out every day. Like, whenever I'm after everything, I wash them out, and so they never get yucky. Does that make sense? My daughter's coming home from her day at camp. I hope it was good. My littlest daughter, she's 10. She's awesome. And she's going to crafting camp, you guys. She is so in love with it. It makes her so happy, and it makes me so happy that she's happy. So, Seisha, I'm, Seisha, I'm live streaming. So, you guys, see, otherwise you're going to get to hear all about crafting camp and whatever other adventures they choose to uh, share with you. <laughs> so anyway, so tell me about you girls. I want to hear all about it. I want to hear what's going on in your world. You've heard all my fob story today. I want to hear what's going on in your world. I want to hear what's going on in your world. Okay, so I think I have six beads. And then I'm going to finish the beads. As we, I'm going to finish the beads. I'm going to wire wrap them. Add some fibers to some. I may need more than six, but I'm going to start out with six. And we'll see how that works. Here, boss and terrier picked up the. Do, do, can you hear my dog whine? Okay, the dog that we have, she like has anxiety at separation, right? Separation anxiety. So, when anybody leaves and comes home, she she stands at the door and she cries for you. <laughs> oh, you guys, it's so funny. I love her though, even though she bit me yesterday. Can you see it? You can't see it a little bit of it now, but she bit me on both sides of my finger. My hand was swollen yesterday, but it's much better today it's not so bad but it was like right at the joint you're like seriously okay now let's finish making the beads making the beads okay so you want your piece of wire the wire that you're going to use to wrap your bead with okay and the other thing is is that maybe let me see where did I put all those fibers um I could wrap some fibers around some of them and I'm gonna wrap some Beads and fibers. So if you have seed beads or you have some, you know, bits of fiber and stuff that you want to wrap around your bead, you can do that too. And let's see what I have here. I have had, you guys, I'm like definitely like having my own like ridiculous moment. It's like I have all the stuff right here and I can't even find it and, and I haven't moved. So there you go. There you go. Okay, so I have this as my center bead, and and let's see, where, <laughs> you guys, what is wrong with me? Okay, let's see. Maybe I won't use the fibers. I don't know. Let me just start wrapping my beads. So go ahead and stick your your wire inside. Now you're gonna have one side that's really long, and that's awesome because the longer your wire is, the more um, wraps you can have around your, the more wraps you have available for your bead. Okay, does that make sense? And I'm going to use some, they're not, they're not actually small, they're, you know, I can't, I can't even tell you the size of the, of the beads, but I'm going to, they're fairly big for a seed bead. And I'm going to put one on the end, and then I'm going to... I'm going to wrap my, do my wire wrapping. I'm going to make the eyes between my beads uh, fairly large so that I can connect them. 
Oh, thanks, Michelle. Um, I'm going to make the eye of my bead fairly large so that I can, the eye of my, uh, eye of my wire, sorry, you know, I'm telling you, I'm having, I'm definitely having some, some scattered moments here. And I'm going to keep wrapping until I am... until I'm all the way around. Alright, so then this is what it looks like. Okay, can you see it? Let me see, if, let me see how close up I am. Can you guys see? And it's in, and it's, in its ugly stage, so don't worry about it. Okay, then you want to go ahead and add another bead to the other end and do the same thing. Now, if you want your beads to be a little bit more finished, you can add a little bit more glue to the end of it and, and go back around and, you know, but it's, it's not that necessary because once you start wrapping and adding fibers and different things to your bead, it is going to take on a, a, a more uniformed life. Does that make sense? I don't know how much of this you guys can see. Can you see it? Okay. So this is what you have right here. You have your bead, your paper core, your fabric glued around or you know, wrapped around glued just where at the seam, two seed beads, and it's in its ugly stage. All right. Now this is where you can decide, okay, are you going to put fibers? What are you going to do? So let me see if I have some cool fibers that I like. I have a whole bag of fibers. This one, not here in front of me. Okay. So here, this is like a piece of, this is a piece of, um, of fabric of, uh, eyelash trim. No, it's just a piece of frayed fabric, I think. So I'm just going to wrap around that a little bit, just so the beads aren't all the same color. And then wrap it back around. And all right, and then now I'm going to take my, maybe that's too much wrap, maybe I'll do half the wrap. Let me see. Maybe I'll do half the wrap. What's cool about this is you can keep all the little bits and pieces that you've, you know, that you've saved that you're like, what am I going to do with this? And it, and it works really good. No matter what you do, it does. It works good. And there's no right or wrong about this. And you can make it look as uniformed or as funky as you want. into my now your wire is going to capture all the end stuff so don't even worry about it and don't even worry about it if it's like frayed or got things on it that you're like oh I don't like that it's going to be fine once you start doing your wire wrapping okay so start your wrapping now this one I'm wrapping with no beads but you can add beads this is just to capture the fabric, the extra fabric bits that I've added on there. Okay. And then when I get close to the top, you can wrap it around your bead or you can even do a decorative. Maybe I'll do a decorative, I don't know. Now and fiddle with it. You know, there's no right or wrong with it. Get it until it get it to look the way you want it to look until you until you're happy with it. The shabbier, the better. I agree, Michelle. That's for me. But, you know, some people like um, more uniform stuff. So, and that's good. You know, you can make it your way. Whatever you want. Okay, and so I'm just adding a little decorative 
well there. You don't have to. Okay, so this is bead one. Now I can go back and add more fabric and I mean more fibers and I can add beads to it. But right now I'm just going to make one bead and then um, make a couple more. So let's see. Let me see if I have that fabric. And I'm going to use these gold beads too. Maybe I need some other beads and other fabric in my in my necklace too. So tell me what colors you girls are using. I think this is a great thing to use with if you just wanted to do a super shabby chic looking one with just uh, colors, uh, you know, uh, a color palette that works better for you. You know what I mean, like a an all white color palette or, you know, we all have uh, sheets or pillowcases and stuff like that that we are maybe currently you know maybe they're not being currently used for something so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the end before I stick the bead on all right I don't know how much you guys can see of this but I'm just wrapping around and as I've told you a bunch of times your fingers are your best friend if you can do it with your fingers it's better than using a pair of pliers because when you use pliers you work hard in your metal and um, it breaks easier. So I'm going to add another bead and I'm going to add another another fabric bead and then I'm going to add another seed bead. Hi Nalisha, how are you? From Georgia, awesome. Well I live in Hawaii. And I don't know, the ladies can tell you all where they live. You guys all share with an Alicia where you live. So. This is your, what's your daily routine, crafty girl? Your daily routine walk? You did a walk? Awesome. Okay, so you made a glue book after watching Dee Dee. Oh my God, Scotty, isn't she like amazing? I am in love with her. I love her work. Um, yet, yeah. oh, you made a glue book from this. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's a great way to put all the notes and stuff people have given you. Okay, so now we are back to the same space we were before, and maybe this one I'll just add some beads to, and we'll wrap around. I just don't see any fabric. I don't see any fibers that I want. Girls, I'm having my own moment today. I'm having my own moment. I'm not having, I'm having my ridiculous moment today. So, let's see. Maybe I'll just use this and wrap some fibers around this. And... So, um, I made something similar to this with my daughter's uh, school class, and we made them from magazine pages and some magazine pages and some ripped up um, magazine pages. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm having to lose my train of thought magazine pages and some ripped up clothing that the school had a big huge box of uh, you know things that people forget so I've got a couple of t shirts from there that people have left for over the years and so here's two beads okay so we have six to go and maybe I won't do it on all of them but you'll get the idea maybe I won't do all the all of them in a shab in a with fibers I am no master, Michelle, and today I have to tell you guys I'm a mess is what it is. I'm sorry I had my emotional moment, you guys. That's ridiculous. You guys are coming here to be under, to, to let off steam, not to deal with my junk. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. Okay, so what I may do right now is I'm, I may go ahead and I'm going to make my, my eye, and I'm going to add one of my beads to it on one end, okay? Add. Maybe I should add a couple of beads in between. Let me see. 
All right, you girls, I'm having my own moment here. Usually I have a vision for what I want right away, but I don't right now. So maybe I won't add it. I am no master. I am of what you see is what you get kind of girl. So I used to run this big company. It was like, it was amazing and I loved it. And people used to think that I was something other than I was, but I was really, you know what, really I'm just a girl from Texas. What you see is what you get. That is all it is. Alright, so it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't it, it can be far from perfect and all you need to do is just keep working it until you find something or something better that looks the way it looks better. I may put a bunch of beads in between mine. That's that's what I may do. Okay, I haven't quite decided yet. You have a ton of paper beads? You've made like this? Awesome. You're Joyce and you're in Texas? Awesome, Joyce. Joyce is in Texas. I love that, Texas. I'm a girl from Texas, too. I am a girl from Texas. I love Texas. Texas in the room. I know. You know what? I miss... The one thing, you know, I was born and raised there. I'm like a fifth generation Texan. They all felt like I ran away, you know, like I... But I didn't. It was just where my life took me. One thing I love about where I'm from in Texas, and I can't speak for every, and Texas is a huge state, you know, but where I'm from, people always have your back. Like, if you're friends for life. You know, it's like not a, people, they're, they become your family. It's like amazing, you know. And I, I'm sure there's many other places like that in the country too, but, you know, you, you kind of get partial to where you, where you were born and where you grew up. Okay, so I'm going to add beads to this bead. I'm going to add more. Um, and you can string all your beads on at once if you want. And, and wrap them as, you know, you just let one of them go as you turn it around. And you can go back, you know, like, even if you get it done this far and you go, oh, but it needs, you can always go back and add more. The only thing that makes it a little harder is if you're going to add um, your um, fibers, you need to do that before you add the wire, a lot of the wire at least. If you're going to add fibers or, you know, thread or whatever you're going to do, you need to do that. You need to add... And this is far from perfect, girls. This is there is no perfection in this. It is just what it is. And I've given up being perfect a long time ago. Every now and then a momentary ridiculousness will pop its head in my world, but for the most part, it's it's just what it is. You're crafting. I'm so happy you're crafting, Ash. You know, I have to tell you, this is what's seen me through this late, this late ridiculousness I'm going through. All right, so I'm just gonna wrap it around the top so I can make my way back up. Now the one thing is if you're going to make this as a wearable, you do want to go back and make sure all your ends are tucked in. You don't think about it when you're making it, but they, it could catch on your clothes and that would not be happy. Okay, so we have three beads so far. Alright, let's start putting it together and then I'll continue the beads as we go. Okay, let me show you one other component we're going to make and this is where you need your ribbon. Okay, your ribbon is going to become... Uh, I'm going to do it in a couple different ways. I'm just going to double it. I'll make one doubled so you can see it, and then I'll make one singled. Okay, so you need some ribbon, or you can even use your fabric. You don't have to have only ribbon. Okay, these are all going to be components for your necklace, right? So 
what we're gonna do here is maybe I'll add it to a bead. I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take a piece of wire. Let me figure out which bead it's gonna go on. Maybe I'll add it to this bead. Okay, so you wanna put your ribbon through the bead. Can you even see it? Okay, so put your ribbon through the bead. What do you guys writing? My wire wrapping, my wrapping reminds me of a bullet of bullet jewelry. Oh, you made bullet jewelry? Oh, I would love to see that. I love stuff made like that. I think that's awesome. Make your... Oh, I'm missing all this. What are you guys writing? Okay, this is just... This is like the bee, bead we showed you in Saturday. <laughs> I'm missing all your comments, you guys. I, I'm sorry. All right, so here's the bead. Okay, you got your ribbon through here. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to make an end on it. All right, let me just show you how. Uh, maybe it's too long. Let me see. Because the thing is, is you don't want a bunch of beads around your neck. Because it, you want it. It'll be fine. You don't want you want them. You don't want the beads around your neck because it's going to. Let me see. Maybe I even need it longer. I thought I made it too long. Maybe I made it. Didn't make it long enough. All right. So. We are going to. Do another wire wrapping end, but I'm wondering if I made it even long enough. I might not have made it long enough. Oh, you guys, this is how my life is going today. Should have just stayed in bed. All right, so we're just gonna have to modify it because I didn't tie it long enough. Okay, do you see? Do you see how it goes through here, like this, like the bead? Can you see? I'm not, not quite sure what you guys can see yet. Thanks for coming, ladies. We appreciate it. All of us hanging out with you. Okay, do you see how it is like this? Okay, we're going to make, we're going to do a wire wrapping end on the end of this, this piece of ribbon. So, I'm just going to take my wire and... wrap it around. I'm missing everything you guys are saying. I can't even, I'm sorry girls, I can't even, I can't watch and wire wrap today. I am missing what you're saying. Okay, has anyone watched Jelly Bunny? I love Jenny Belly. Okay, I love her and I've watched her, I haven't watched her lately, but I've watched her in the past. I made a, a long time ago she made a cereal box journal. Have you guys ever made that with her? She is the queen of cereal box journals. She did one out of greeting cards and a cereal box, I think it was. And I love her. I love her. And she's got a forum, like a, a Ning forum, I think. That's awesome. Have you guys ever, did any of you ever um, join her Ning forum? She has a forum where she gives a lot of free content. I'm not perfect. Melisha, I am so not perfect. I am so not perfect. But I will tell you, like, I, um, I used to, like, think that you had to be perfect, but now I'm over it. Okay, so I'm just wrapping it around, and this is just, and then I'm going to tie my ribbon, okay? So let me, can you see it? I'm not quite sure if you can see it or not, but I'm showing you. What? Her juicy pages. I haven't seen juicy pages. Jenny Billy has juicy pages. What does that mean? Can you guys tell me what it means? I love her. I like her energy. She's so beautiful as well. Like physically beautiful. She's so gorgeous. And she's and she seems and from what I gather, and I don't know her personally, but she just seems so loving and giving, you know? And I can't imagine she would be any different. She makes all those videos all the time. She she gives a lot of really good free content, and I appreciate that. Okay, can you guys see it? 
Let's see if I can hold up a piece of paper so you can see it better. Can you see? Can you see the the ribbons just pulled through? You might want to use a thicker ribbon than what I'm using, but can you see? I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, what I'm going to do is, and you don't have to do this, but I'm going to tie my ribbon here, okay? I'm going to tie it. I'm going to pull it through and tie it just because there needs to be something. If I had a needle and thread, I would just sew it, but I don't, okay? So, I mean, I do, but not here in front of me. So, I'm just going to tie a knot, and then I will cut off my wire. She wraps the edges of her videos in scrap paper, uh, journal and pages in scrap paper. Oh, that's awesome. No, now I'm going to, I'll have to go watch her. I, I think she's inspiring. I think all of you guys are inspiring though. Each one of us has our own take on things and we can do our, and we have our own way of doing it and we all learn from each other. So, you know, it's like, I enjoy watching all of you. So I have to admit lately I haven't watched anybody. I've been in my own world, you guys. It hasn't been hasn't been as fun as it usually is, but it's gonna get back to that. Okay, so that just adds a little nice ending to it. it has a little knot, and I may wrap I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wrap my knot. I'm gonna wrap my knot a little bit with the wire. I'll show you guys when I'm done with it because I can't. I'm trying to tell you what I'm doing at the same time while I'm doing it and it's not working. So I'm wrapping my knot the way you would wrap a bead, okay? I love her. I haven't, I will definitely go. Is Juicy Pages a new video, Michelle? I haven't. I haven't, I love her, her energy's awesome, she's neat, I love, and, you know, I love her accent, don't you guys love her accent, doesn't she have like the best accent, she's got the coolest accent, I think, of course if you're English, you probably hear it all the time, but you know, for me, I think it's awesome, okay, I'm gonna just snip my, just be careful when you're snipping this that you don't snip your fabric, okay, It's a new video? Okay, I'm, I'll definitely have to check it out. Do you guys ever notice, like, you can be subscribed to somebody, but you never hear about their new videos? Like, you can be subscribed to their channel, and you don't even get... I mean, I used to get some kind of... I would see all kinds of cool stuff come up in my video, in my suggested video thing. But lately, it hasn't been much. It could be because I haven't been on, but I don't know. Join her newsletter. Oh, she's got a newsletter? Okay. The girls are telling me all kinds of cool stuff that I had no idea about. Okay, can you see it? Let me see if I can put a piece of paper up. So this is what, so this is, that's one end. Do you see? It's connected to the bead. And then I've connected it to the bead, right? So you, you want to have this because if you, you don't really want to have these fabric beads around your neck if you can help it. I mean, you can, but, you know, metal tarnishes when it hits your skin. Okay, you saw some product. I, I'm, I'm missing all your chat. Okay, Jenny Billy has a newsletter and Crafty Girl's saying you should join it. And Asha's saying Jenny Billy was the first crafter she found on YouTube. And then you found Lindsay the Frugal Crafter. I love her too. I haven't seen her, any of her videos though in a while. I love her. Um, you saw some products. Nalisha is saying she thinks she saw some products that might on the Michael's shelf that had her name on it. Oh, that's awesome. Whose name? Jenny Belly or or the Frugal Crafter? And then um, I like you know what I love. I love the whole YouTube op op. You know, the YouTube videos, YouTube people. I love it. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now while you girls are talking about all the things that I'm missing is I'm going to add a couple of beads in between a couple of glass beads. These are, I can't even tell you where I got them. Somebody gave them to me. Okay, here they are. And then these are like some crazy rainbow colored beads. And I'm going to add, maybe I'll add some purple and some green ones since I have some purple and green going on. Purple and green. The yellows are too bright. Maybe I'll just do purple and green. So 
let me see. Let me get some purple and green going on here. Oh, and there's some black ones. Maybe I'll do black ones too. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe no black ones. Just purple and green. Anyway, so I love the I love the YouTube audience. I love the fact that we can all share what we do and you know you make a lot of new friends. I've made a lot I'm grateful for all of you guys. I mean now this is a great way to use up those broken necklaces and stuff that you have. How many of you out there have broken necklaces? I certainly do. I have plenty of them. Um, somebody gave me all these beads and I don't even know what kind. They're like little glass beads. I couldn't even tell you where to get them if you wanted. You know, people move on and off the island that I live on so frequently that I meet all kinds of cool people. But they're like, oh, I'm leaving. And then next thing you know, like they're handing off stuff, which is good and bad in many different ways. Okay, so I'm going to add a couple of beads in between my There's my nippers because i got my mess going on. Lindsay and Dee Dee Willingham. Dee Dee Willingham has her own line of stuff. There you go. She's my girl. My Dee Dee Willingham. Love her. Okay, so I'm going to put like a couple of beads in between my fabric beads. Not that you have to, but I think I'm going to like the way it looks. Maybe I won't. We'll see. This is great though. If you girls have any, if you do have any broken jewelry, get it out. This is like, this is definitely prime broken jewelry time. Prime broken jewelry use. You know, those, and costume jewelry and beads and uh, if you had some links of watches and stuff like that if you wanted to make it really funky and eclectic you could add that here um you know you could add that you could add a whole component series to your whole bunch of components to your now this is the part where if you're going to add a bead on one on either end i'm, I'm just going to remind you to um, I'm going to remind you to add your bead add your bead now and then on the other end on the other end of your wire wrap add the bead too okay add your other add whatever you're going to join it to okay because many times and girls as you know I've told you before I am I am as guilty as the next person, I forget, and then I'll end up closing it. Not that it matters, it just means you'd have to add another bead. So, and just hold your eye, the eye of the of, that you've just created with your wire, and use your fingers and wrap around the wire. Fingers are your best tool. I will keep reminding that, keep reminding you that the whole time fingers are your best tool. It doesn't have to be wrapped perfect. You can wrap it and, and, and you can also go back and wrap it. Let me see if I can make it. Let me show you. So this one, it's gonna, I'm going to wrap it enough so it looks like a bead cap on the top of the bead, of the little glass bead. Does that make sense? And I'll, I'll hold it up to the camera so you can see it a little better. Okay, can you see? It just and you could do it on both ends that way, but it didn't, Donna. I didn't. Do you see what I, I'm talking about? Where I just wrapped it so it looks like a bead cap. You could do that on this end as well. You just have to do it to begin with, or leave a bigger tail. Okay. So I got that going on. Let me. Um, let me do a couple more beads, and then uh, do some purple beads. So, I am going to do a series in July called Christmas in July, if any of you guys want to join me. And I don't know how many videos I'm going to do, but I'll do at least one, some, one a week. Maybe a few more if I can get it together. Um, and... In that Christmas in July, I am going to make gifts, make holiday gifts, and or start my holiday gift making 
Um, I don't know about you, but I always find I, I like to have a whole bunch of handmade gifts on hand, even if the holidays aren't around, because I I like giving handmade if I can. So I'm going to start a, a series in July, Christmas in July, and see how that goes. And so, so there you go. You guys, we should be done with this pretty fairly soon, and then we can do our serendipity paper. We just have a few more things to add to it, and then, I mean, and you could, of course, make yours more elaborate than I'm making mine. I always love seeing what you guys make, and I'm sure that you guys will have many more ideas and amazing things to make more than me. Sorry you guys I can't it's getting to be dark here and or the it's getting it's not it's not quite dark. It's it's early in the afternoon but it's overcast and my light is going. I'm missing what you guys are saying. Okay, so have you guys, did any of you guys go, or any of you into collage, like big time collage? There's a couple people that I, I so love on YouTube that do amazing collage. Are you guys into it at all? Or is it just me that's the, that's into the collage thing? So I love, there's a couple of, of amazing collage artists that I really love. One of them is, her name is Caged Fish. And her name is Carla. And her name is Caged Fish. And then she makes amazing, 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 amazing. collages. And then there's another artist that I really love. Her, her name is Marguerite Miller and she does beautiful collages too. Carla does a live stream every Tuesday. So I hope you can join me for Christmas in July, Ash. That would be so awesome. If you feel like it. I mean, you know, not everybody's into handmade, but I am. So if you like collage, go over and check out Caged Fish is her name on YouTube. Her name is Carla, and she also has a, a, a Facebook group called Art Experiments, and she's amazing, and I love it, and I love her, and you guys would really like her. And then the other one is this woman named Marguerite Miller, and I love her collage work, and you need to go over and check her out. She is awesome. And I like her as well. She's she's really um, she's really got a lot going on. And I love her, and she's good. And I like what she does. And she's so talented. And she uses amazing components. Like she uses uh, Carla uses magazines. So Carla is for like the everyday crafter like us. Like she doesn't, I mean, she does have some pattern paper and does use some scrapbook paper, but for the most part, she makes her own, which I really appreciate. And Marguerite does recycled bit stuff and she really does, uh, she, is, she likes to use like postage stamps and I don't know, go over and check her out and then tell me what you guys think. She is amazing. I, she's, she's, they're both as, they're both masters at what they uh, what the other do. I mean, they're they're really great. I love both of them. Um, there's another YouTube artist that I love, and she's been around for a long time. And her name is Diana Trout. Do any of you guys guys know Diana? She does really beautiful books. She makes amazing journals, amazing books. She's she's just a really good artist and. She's been around on YouTube for a while. Um, like if I could take a class from anybody, I think I would go and take a class from her. Um, I think she's located on the East Coast. I don't know, and I know she does give classes, 
but she's been, I think she's been a fiber artist, uh, and a paper, like, I think she's been making books for years, like, years. I don't know if she has, she may have written some books herself, that I don't know, but go over and look her up on YouTube, too. Her name is Diana Trout, T-R-O-U-T, and she'll give you some great ideas of things to do and try. Um, she, she is just incredibly talented, and if you could take a class from her, I can guarantee you'd leave learning so much. So I'd like her as well. She's super good. Um, so she's awesome. Diana Trout. Yeah, definitely check her out. She's definitely one worth worth checking out. You guys have to tell me who some of your favorite people to watch are. I haven't been on in a while, so I don't know. And like I said, I'm not I used to get like some really cool like things in my inbox saying, Oh, check this one out, check that one out. But I haven't been lately. You like caged fish, Lucy? I like her too. You know, she she live streams every Tuesday, and I try to catch it. Today I didn't. I know she's not gonna live stream next week. She live streams on UStream, and I, and I think her I think she's still caged fish on fish on UStream as well. And I love her. I like her work. I like. She's just a really fun to. She's sort of fun to glue with and hang out with. Um. I like her a lot. And Shannon Green just moved a few miles away from you. Oh, girl, you need to go see her. I love Shannon Green. I love her. She pops in every now and then on some of our live streams. She's popped in a few times. She is fun. And I think she's giving classes near where, I mean, where if she moved close to you, she, she posted, um, or she either posted or said in one of her things that she's doing uh, classes at Canvas Corp. So have you gone to take any classes from her, Scotty? She's like, I think every Thursday, I think they do some sort of free thing at Canvas Corp. If I'm wrong, you know, I would definitely message her and find out. I may be wrong, but that's what I, I think I understood. Okay, so far this is what we have on our necklace, girls. We have two, we have three beads and one and two fabric beads. I'm going to add um, one more bead, then my fabric bead, then I think I'm going to add my tassel, then I have two more fabric beads, or maybe three more fabric beads to go, and then I think we're going to be done. And I've already made the beads, so they're sitting right here. So, anyway, I would, I would definitely be heading over to see some Shannon Green. I love her. Tammy Brackett. I don't know Tammy Brackett. I'll have to look her up. I don't know her. What is she? Does she do junk journals? What does she do, girls? You have to tell me. Girls are introducing me to a new world of people. And Susan says, I'm just now putting up my Christmas. <laughs> you know what, Susan? So, I am making... So, I was sharing with in my last live stream that, you know... I usually have a whole box of stuff that I keep as giveaways, like gifts and stuff that I have to give away, and I haven't. I don't have them right now, so I, I, I'm out. I've given them all away, so I need to create a whole new, whole new box of giveaways, so that's where I'm at. And... It's in, I have kids in school, so if you still have school-age kids, you know, you have those little gifts that you need to give your teachers or whoever. I need to catch up on my, my gift giveaways. Okay, who's doing classes? Uh, okay, I'm missing. Okay, so... Somebody's talking about who made a journal out of magazines and doodle animals. And then um, somebody did. So Crafty Girl's saying that. And then Scotty's saying she's doing a class 
and a Tuesday morning drop in for craft and get together. Ooh, that sounds so awesome. Well, if Tammy does upcycling, I'll have to check her out. You know what? There's so many good artists on YouTube that do upcycling that are just as obsessed with upcycling as I am, right? So, I, if I lived anywhere near Shannon Green, I think I would be there for the Tuesday morning drop-in and craft. I, she makes me laugh. I love her energy, and I love her. Big time. Big, big, big time. Okay, so this is what we have so far. We've got one end of our necklace. We've got, I don't know what you guys can see or not, and we've got some beads and this, and now just going to add a couple more beads and we're going to add our tassel to the bottom. I'm going to add our my tassel to this and have these beads right here to finish. And I think in another like maybe 10 minutes we'll be done. What do you girls think? I just have to, I'm going to have to figure out like what I'm going to, what I'm going to hang my tassel to. That's what I'm going to, that's, that's my discussion now girls. What am I going to put my tassel on? What am I going to hang to my tassel? Um, let me finish this bead. Any suggestions? I mean, I'm just going to hang it on to the, should it have more beads? What do you girls think? What do you girls think? So, anyway. Yeah, I love some Shannon Green. I would be there in a heartbeat, Scotty, if, it, if I lived anywhere near Shannon Green. You can't, it's not Margarita. I think it's Marguerite. I think you or like Margaret with an E at the end. You know what, Susan, after this video, when I put it, if I post it up there, I will put her, I will go back and find her YouTube channel and put it in there. Okay, what am I missing? She uses everyday things to make everything you have to watch. Is this is this Michelle? Is that who does it? Who, Michelle, who does the everything? Tammy Brackett? Oh, I'm I'm definitely gonna if yeah I like making everything out of everything. When I'm feeling better, girls, I'll show you my my glass curtains that I made out of recycled wine bottles. I made some curtains out of recycled wine. I cut wine bottles up and made some cur some glass curtains. A string of beads. A string of beads with it. I don't have. You know what? I don't have any. I have beads, but I don't have any close by, like just the whole string. But I, I know what you're saying, Renette. I could do that. I could totally do it. I know. I get what you're saying. And it probably would look really awesome with a string of beads. You know what I might be able to do is I might have some... Have you guys ever made those net bead... Those net lengths of beads where you... Where you make a... Where you take some faux pearls and then you take a string of beads and... I mean, uh, some... Some net, some... Uh, tool. And you make your... You make your stuff. You found it awesome. Okay, who's Sonia Mixed Media? I'm missing you girls are like talking Melman and I can't I can't I'm not keeping up. Sonia Mixed Media. I don't know her. What so obviously she makes mixed media. Makes, she makes a lot of it. Does she only do mixed media? What does she do? Somebody, somebody, tell me. What does she do? Is it only mixed media, or is it mixed media and junk journaling, or what? So, all right. I have two more beads, and then. Alright, so that bead's, that bead's just going to be a wrapped bead until I decide something different. And then I have my tassel in the middle. Maybe I'll put some, hmm. 
That was kind of a loud, wild bead. Okay. Let me see what I got going on here. So, can you fish with it? What are you looking at? What are you talking about? Can you fish with my my? Can you fish with my thing? Is that what you're talking about? Kind of looks like you could fish with it. Maybe you could. You guys are so funny. Could you fish with it? What are your summer plans? I want to hear some summer plans from you guys. I live where it's summer all year long, so I have no real big summer plans. I was going to head to see my sister who lives on the East Coast, but... I think she is going to come here instead, which would make me just as happy. And so, what do you, what do you, uh, okay, I'm missing, oh, you need your wine bottle, my wine bottle curtains? Well, actually, so what I did was I take wine bottles and you cut up, you cut them up, you cut up the, should clean off my desk so you guys can even see this is like such a mess here um what you do is you cut wine bottles and you have to do it on a table saw okay you can't you can't just cut them without it i did it i got a you know a blade for a tile saw a glass blade for a tile saw and this might be a little let me see i got a glass blade for a tile saw and And I um, and that's what I did. I put it. I did this. Uh, I know what I'm gonna do now. I know. I've got it. So a glass blade for a tile saw, and you and you cut them. And it, it takes a little while to figure it out, but it works really good. So I cut them into rings, and I, you know. I cut them into rings and then I slumped them in a kiln and they came out really, I think they came out cool, but you know, that's just my opinion. I think they came out cool and I'm liking it, so that's what I did. Okay, let me read you guys. Your sister and your niece are headed. What do you guys? Camping next month. Awesome! Camping. I love the camping. Okay, how I cut the wine bottles was I, 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 I have a really cheap, inexpensive tile saw. I want to say it was like the cheapest one you could get at a big, at like Home Depot or Lowe's. I don't remember where I got it. Home Depot or Lowe's. But it was cheap. I want to say it was like $50. Maybe it was 60 and I and I I then after that I, I you have to you know do it like you're gonna cut a top you gotta cut the top and the bottom off and then you just cut them in you just decide your size and you cut them in those sizes and then you slump them in a kiln and you definitely when you, you could do it without a kiln but I don't know the wind blows really hard here, and so I have some of them outside, and so I like them. I think they came out good. That I've made wind chimes with them. I've made um, rain chains with them. Does anybody have a rain chain in their garden? Does anybody like rain chains, or is that something that's not done where you guys are? Anybody else besides me a fan of a rain chain? I love rain chains. So let me just see how much this goes on my neck. Okay. So I like, I, I'm a big fan of rain chains. So I have that. I've made, uh, you guys have tried everything. So that's awesome. So if you're going to go camping, is anybody going to do any crafting over the summer? Ha ha, ha 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 ha. Jillian says her sister and her niece are coming. Awesome! 
Your adult, the adult pajama party sounds great. Never heard of a rain chain? I'll have to Google it. They're really cool. So, you, you, you know, they people hang them off the gutters of their homes. And they hang them off the gutters of their homes. So, and then they, you know, they, they make noise, like, when, the, when it rains. They're, I think they're cool. Maybe they don't make them. They must have them in the Pacific Northwest where it rains all the time, right? I would think that you had them wherever it rains. Obviously, I think on the East Coast, you probably can't put them up until it, it, um, you can't leave them up if, uh, you can't leave them up because of the snow, right, or the freezing rain, so you'd have to take them down for that, but yeah, no, I, I, I like them. I'm like all into it. I am so, I've made that. I've made all kinds of stuff. So I have a glass kiln in my garage, and I, I used to fire it every day for a long period of time and especially when I was really making a lot of glass work I was firing it every day but now that I'm like not doing that so much okay so this is what we have so far girls can you see it we have the I should have cleaned off this my mess so I have three fabric beads on this side some other beads pigtail then I have a piece of ribbon and this is what where your ribbon it really comes in handy. Now you can go back and trim it, and this piece I haven't wrapped yet, and I may wrap it. You know, I haven't done it yet, but this is what we have so far. So, I mean, at least it's it's big enough to go over your head, and I'm gonna add some more beads. And the ribbon primarily is gonna live on the back of your neck because I don't necessarily think you want your hair getting caught in fabric beads. That's just my thought, but hey, it's your necklace, you can make it any way you want. And then I've gotta figure out how I'm gonna put the tassels on. Michelle, you see a lot of crafting for you. Well, awesome. Michelle has a really great YouTube channel, you guys. You should go check her out, too. I've only seen a couple of her videos, but I think they're awesome. So you guys should definitely go check her to your her YouTube channel out. What are you at some of you other girls? Do any of you other girls have YouTube channels that you want to shout out about? Shout them out. Shout out your YouTube channel. We would love to see, hear what you have. <laughs> well, hopefully I'm going to be done soon. And I'm sorry, guys. I've just been a little bummed, and you guys are making me so much better. But I'm sorry if I'm, I'm also still jet-lagged. You know, it's like I thought I'd be over this jet-lag by now, but I guess just a couple days home it does not cure your jet-lag. I'm trying to keep myself up as late at night as possible. Lots of video watching for you, Susan. Good for you. I know you can get sucked into YouTube, yeah? That's probably the idea. Sucked into YouTube. What? It, hi, Sherry. Serendipity paper is paper that is that you make from scraps. We're almost done with our necklace and then we'll start. Serendipity paper is going to take us all of like two minutes to make. Well, maybe five, but not really. So you just need to find a background paper because you want to have something to glue it to. I use a glue stick, but you could use a wet glue if you wanted. The only problem with the wet glue is that you're not going to be able to stick it to your die cutting machine right away. So it's a way to use. So if you have some really nice I've done it with all kinds of paper. Okay, so when I first started paper crafting, you guys, this is how naive I was, all right? When I first started paper crafting, I thought that you had to make everything, like, so if you were going to send somebody a journal, that you had to have made the paper to go in the journal. Is that ridiculous? That is how ridiculous I was. So... I made all of this one-of-a-kind paper. Then I had a friend come over and she was like, oh, who taught you how to make serendipity paper? I was like, nobody. It's just I made my own paper. I thought that's what you're supposed to do. Anyway, it's ridiculous. And I didn't mean like make your own paper from like pulp. I just, you guys, we all live and learn, right? 
So I've made it over the years for different things. Sometimes I make it for birthday cards because, you know, like especially if you want the card you give to be something different and unique compared to like everything you can buy. So I've made it over the years. Does that make sense? So have you ever made serendipity paper sherry? Maybe you made it and you didn't know that's what it's called. And don't ask me where the name came from, okay? The person that my friend, the person that said to me, oh, who taught you how to make serendipity paper was the, per the person that told me it was called that. So I, I did not give it that name, okay? I did not name it. My paper and journals must be awesome. No, Ash, my paper and journals, somebody, I figured it out after a while that you didn't have to make everything, okay? I, my head is like ridiculous, okay? I probably give myself too much work when it could have been done really easily. So, no, and I really love old vintage paper. Like if you guys ever like if you ever get to an estate sale and they have like, remember old state when people used to really send like letters on linen stationery? You can find some of that old linen stationery. That paper, the textures are so amazing. Oh, I love them. So also my partner, my significant other, the love of my life, he made me out of recycled elements some paper decals and do you know what that is anybody that makes handmade paper knows it's what you pull your pulp through when you make your handmade paper so I have made the journal you gave me Rena is amazing I love it and I tell you guys I haven't used my journals but I look at them all the time they bring me such joy only you girls can understand how you could just take your stuff out and just like hold it and covet it and be with it and then you can put it back right so in my house I have a shelf of journals people have made me or stuff people and some of them I know you're supposed to take apart but I haven't okay I like them the way they are I like them I I actually love them so that was a conversation my partner and I were having because we were talking about as I told you he got his job transferred him to the other side of the island so and because of the the little fires that happen here, the brush fires, he wants to move to that side of the island. And my only thing was, <laughs> and the places are considerably smaller on that side of the island than they are on this one, or the ones that put it this way, the ones that we could afford are smaller on that side of the island. And they're, and they're outrageously rent. I mean, we pay what we pay for and rent here is like most people's mortgage for a really long time. Anyway, so um, I said to him, my only thing is I have to have space for my my journals. He was like, oh, of course. He said, absolutely, would not think anything different. Wouldn't think anything different. You have to have a space for your journals. And I meant like bookcase, my bookcases that have my journals, right? Because I have a couple of bookcases that have my journals. The ones that I've made and the ones that I've been given. So... Anyway, that's what it is for me, ladies. That is what it is for me. But I love what you made me, Renette. I love it very much. And hopefully I'll be finished with yours soon. I have to be in a really good place with it myself. And because of what I've been going through, and girls, this didn't just happen. I've been going through it for a while now. It's just getting to me now. I've been going through it for, uh, I guess, almost a year. But it's just really getting to me now. So it hasn't gotten to me before. Okay, this is where we are so far. I, don't, I, don't, I need a piece of white paper is what I need so you guys can see it. This is where we are so far. This is where we have our we have our fabric beads. We have our the back of our necklace. And I'm going to fix my ends, so don't think about it. And then now I have a couple more beads to add on. And then I have my tassel. 
and I just have to figure out what how I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pigtail my tassel on, but I wish I had like I need like an outstanding bead for the top of my tassel, and I don't don't know that I have one right here. My partner is awesome. Okay, what are you guys talking about? Let's see. You call you called it homemade paper. Uh, You can't get serious enough about making a YouTube video. Hey, you know what? You have to you have to go with where you are. I I only started making YouTube videos because I have a very dear friend who wanted to have a paper crafting group on Facebook. I was just sort of peripheral, you know, I was like living in my own world doing my own thing. But she wanted to have a paper crafting group on Facebook and so she asked me if I would start a Facebook group with her and I said I will certainly be there to support you but I'm not starting a Facebook group that was just not it wasn't my interest you know and I I don't even think at the time I think at the time I was I, I, I'm not a, a huge Facebook person so you know I like it enough but I I've, I've had some sort of bizarre they haven't happened in a long time but when Facebook first came out you know I have children and I used to I was on Facebook or whatever I had a Facebook uh, account to to uh, monitor my then teenage children like not that you can really monitor them but you know what I mean and somebody I dated when I was probably like 19 years old showed up at my door. Kind of freaked me out because I had small children, you know, much younger than they are now then. And uninvited. I mean, it wasn't like somebody I'd kept in contact with or anything. And so I kind of like let go of Facebook because it kind of freaked me out. So I haven't been back on Facebook that long, maybe two years, maybe less than that. And the only reason why I got back on Facebook was I went on a trip to somewhere, I think it was probably somewhere in South America because at the moment that seems to be where my, my extravaganzas are going a couple of years ago. and. I went with a group of lovely people, or I met a group of lovely people from all over the world, and they shared pictures on Facebook. So that's why I was even on Facebook. Does that make sense? Am I making any sort of ridiculous sense to any of you? Thanks, crafty girl. It's almost done. I'm sorry it's taken me longer than I wanted. Just It's just my energy right now. I'm so... I think traveling was awesome, but this time it kind of kicked my butt a little bit. I'm like a little... So... Anyway... I, I'm not... So, back to the videos. So I started videos because my friend, my dear friend, wanted... Are any of you in a lot of Facebook groups? They can get a little political, right? And so my friend, the one that I started the Facebook group with, or the one that I, I didn't start it, I just supported her in her Facebook group extravaganza. She was in a bunch of, she does a lot of crafting to craft away her pain as, as well, as, as well as all of us, right? So she was in, she had started some face, she had, started on this Facebook group or to be in this Facebook group because she makes a lot of paper crafting and she does all kinds of stuff and so anyway she was in a Facebook group and the people got kind of mean to her or they were they did some things that didn't really make her feel good and so she didn't want to be in that Facebook group anymore so that's why she wanted to start her own Facebook group and I said I would support her. So in starting this Facebook group she and I was really into making junk journals. I mean into making junk journals, making them all the time. So she was like, will you do some videos for our Facebook group on making junk journals? And I was like, 
time. Yeah, I don't know. And at the time, all I had was my laptop. I didn't have like this camera that I have now. And so I just did, I'm sorry you guys, I'm gonna wrap one of the beads. I was just looking for some beads that would go. Usually I have bag, I have a whole box of seed beads, but I just don't know where they are right here. They're not near me. They're packed behind me. When I take do my video in my space, you'll see why I haven't, I should put everything in my, anyway, it's awesome. So that's how I started making videos. So I started making them for her, for her Facebook group. And then from there, it just sort of snowballed. And it's, it sort of makes me have to craft. Does that, does that sound like, it makes me like stick with my crafting. It makes me focus on making projects and doing stuff. And at least right now while I'm going through this ridiculousness, it's been a tremendous, uh, tremendously cathartic. So I'm grateful to you guys for hanging out with me and I'm grateful to even have the medium to explore and learn about crafts that I wanna know or you know that I'm enjoying. So that's how I started. In the long-winded ridiculousness, right? So there are a lot of really good Facebook crafting Facebook groups, and I suggest that you find your one, the one that suits you. I there's a lot of them out there. I like a lot of them are awesome, and I'm sure you guys can make some suggestions. So please feel free post them right here in the chat. Post the Facebook groups that you love to belong to, or if any of you have Facebook groups that you'd like to in, invite people to, go for it. Post them in the chat. Let people know. Um, my friend has since like. I still, the group is still up on Facebook, but she suffers from chronic migraines. And so she's not really doing anything right now. And honestly, I don't have the, the uh, energy with what I'm going through personally right now to put it in, to, to, to focus on that, to focus on putting a lot of energy into it, the, her Facebook group. So if you guys have some Facebook groups you love, let me know. Let us know and invite us. I told you Carla has one called Art Experiments, and that one's great. Shannon Green has one called By Shannon Green, and that's a really fun group to join. What other? Because I'm awesome and cheaper than therapy, and it is cheaper than therapy. Oh my God, you guys. One of my kids said something to me today that just made me in tears, and. You know, I think that's, and then, of course, I, right after that, I got online with you guys. And so, I definitely am feeling the toll of this, whatever I'm going through right now. And you were right, Michelle. And at the end of therapy, you don't have all these cool projects to show for it, right? You need therapy. Oh my gosh, Susan, that's so funny, you're writing you need therapy. Well, I think we all could use some form of therapy, but I think artistic therapy for me is the best. I'm enjoying, I enjoy it the most. I promise girls next time I'll be more prepared and in my peppy mood, in my peppy self. I won't be talking to anybody and being sad before we start. You've enjoyed seeing it come together. Melissa, I don't usually take this long, but I'm telling you, I'm having my moment. I am really having my moment. It is like not, I am not myself. So next time, girls, start with six beads and have them already made, and then you won't even have to go through this ridiculousness with me. I'm kind of excited how it's going to turn out. I wanted to make one in neutral colors. I made one. I gave it away, though, too. It was one of my, I told you that I haven't had any, any, uh, any, any in my gift pile. So the other day, I, I, I made I made some beads, a whole bunch of beads, a few weeks ago. And then when I got home, one of my friends, who I haven't seen in a while, stopped by, and it was her 60th birthday. And I had just made a necklace, and she was here with her sister. They came. They just stopped by to, because I because I wasn't answering my cell phone because I was in South America. <laughs> so she uh, she stopped by and. 
I had made two that I thought I was going to show you, but I gave one to her and then her sister liked one. So I gave one to her for her birthday because she saw it on my table. And then I gave her sister one. She's visiting from Australia. So it was awesome. And the ones that I made, I made one of them in red because I had some really cool red bits of fabric. And then the other one was uh, just white. And I loved it. It was white with crystals, like, you know, just clear beads. And I liked it. But yeah. Okay, what are you talking about? It's Shannon's group. Martha's Cafe. Oh, I love Martha's Cafe. I like that. The Creative Cafe. I like her. I love her YouTube channel, too. You guys should watch her, too. I love her. I haven't seen any of her videos lately, but I always love her um, energy. And let's see. Yes, it is. Everything does feel like an effort. And you know what? Melissa, on top of all that, it feels like I'm like wading through mud. Does that make sense? Like, I thought it was just the jet lag, but I think it's the emotion too. I think it's the emotion on top of the jet lag. And on top of the crap I'm going through. Okay, so here we are so far. Not done yet. We have one more bead, and then we have to add our tassel to it. Okay, can you guys see it? I need to clean up some of this stuff so you can actually really see it. I'm sorry. I, my, my mess sort of got away from me here. And... So... I'm grateful that you girls hung out with me today. And then for those of you that want to make serendipity paper, get a glue stick and some scrap paper. We're almost done with our necklace. And then you'll have something really nice to give. If you want to give it to somebody, you'll have a nice little giveaway. All right, here where we, here's where we are so far. And I just have, let me see what it looks like on. Okay, I am going to put that one more bead and then I'm gonna put I know what I'm gonna do so that it's even okay so I've got one more green bead to put on and it's a small one and then I'm gonna add Marta is so cool and I love her I love her if you guys don't know who she is go on Facebook and find her she's so awesome post the name of her group here you guys creative cafe is that what it's called what is it called Alicia, are you doing it? Are you going through it too? Oh, I'm sorry. Can I tell you? I would not wish this crap on anyone. I would not wish it on anyone. Like, you know, like, like I was trying to explain that to one of my daughters today. She's like, you know, I don't know why you're, she was like fussing at me. She was like, I don't know why you're so upset. You guys haven't been together for years. It's not about that. It's about, it, it just makes me reflect on my whole life. And it makes me reflect on like, what I thought and what I trusted and what I believed in and and who I thought I was and am and just it just made me look at myself like so like how could I be so blind and how could I be so stupid and how could I trust and anyway it it's just made me feel like my daughter was like you just need to get over it she was like she made me so sad and I know she was trying to like give me some tough love <laughs> I know she was like trying to focus on the tough love but instead I was just like in a space of like I don't know it just, the tough love ended up being like a crumble point for me today it's Marta's Creative Cafe or, or Maramie's Small Art here on YouTube okay there you go so watch, girls, go and check her t her channel out. She's so talented, and her energy is amazing, and she's so lovely. And I don't know her personally, but I have to tell you, that's just how I feel when I watch her stuff. Okay, what did you write, Scotty? When darkness falls, be a light, and quote a quote. I often stamped on my students' work when returning it to them. It's okay. Yes. 
Yes, I am my own light. You are absolutely right, and I appreciate that sentiment, and I am grateful for those that those thoughts. But I'm just saying, like, that's why I feel like I'm, like, walking. And I've been going through this for months, you guys, months. But this week, for whatever reason, it is just been ridiculously difficult. Maybe it's my jet lag. Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe I just... All I can say is I so needed that trip to South America. I didn't even know how much I needed it till I got there. And here I thought I was going to really be with my friend and help her. And I think in reality, she helped me. Like I think, I think going there and being with her totally helped me in a way that I didn't even know I needed. You started the YouTube channel? Oh, and Alicia, I'm so sorry. Grief is a, is, a, is, a, is a hard thing. You know, I think that, ugh, I'm so, so sorry. I'm sorry for whatever happened, and I'm sorry for whatever you're going through, because I know for me it's been a really ridiculousness, and I'm not going through anything like that. I mean, yeah, grieving my life, but... You know, I should be able to get over it. And I haven't. And I'm still, you know. That's why having my daughter here was so good, my oldest daughter. You know, it's like, it was like a little gift because, you know, she hasn't lived, she's hadn't lived at home in a long time. And she'd been off at college and then, and then she met the, you know, anyway, she got, she got married. She she actually eloped which was you know kind of sad for me but that's what she wanted she, she didn't want a big she's like a behind the scenes kind of shy person she didn't want a big pomp and circumstance but anyway so it was a real gift that she came back home for a little while before she moved to japan and it was so nice having her here that i feel like you know i i felt like i got like an extra inning does that make sense <laughs> you know when your grown kids are gone you're right, Alicia. You're right. You can grieve in many ways. I think I'm grieving my old life. You're like, not that my old life was anything, but I don't know. It's silly. It's so silly. So instead, I'm making fabric beads out of paper and fabric scraps and working my way through it. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm like, I'm in my zen of, of like wire wrapping. I will show you guys some of my jewelry. There was a point in my life I made the coolest jewelry ever out of everything. I have somewhere in this, my mess, I have these big, huge ruby rings that I made out of like these slabs of raw ruby. They're beautiful. The rubies themselves are not precious. Like they weren't high quality, but they were, um, I loved them. You know me, I like the trashier, the butter. Okay, so now we just have to add our tassel, and I just have to decide, and I kind of had a vision for the tassel, let me see, let's see, this is an olive green bead, maybe, oh no, I had all these other green beads, you guys see, I'm not even in my right mind right now, if I was in my right mind, maybe I'll use this, is this too sparkly? Is this too sparkly, then am I, am I going to have to go back and add lots of sparkle? Hmm. You're right, it does come in waves. Okay, do you guys vote the really sparkly green bead or just a glass green bead or... Ugh. I'm sorry, you guys. Usually I am so full of excitement and not this ridiculous melancholy or whatever the hell I'm going through. It's just like it's wearing me out. Maybe I will use the sparkler. Okay, what did you write, Alicia? Grief comes in waves, it does. And when you think you're doing better, something hits you again. And you're right. That's what today was. Hi, Forever Purple Creations. Welcome. Welcome. 
No, I have never watched Yvonne Williams' Wire Up, so we'll have to watch her Wire Up. Sparkly? I'm going to do Sparkly. I am. I just have to put... I have to... I think what I'm going to do is... I think I am going to... I have an idea, girls. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm hoping it will. But I have to see what I have here. And what is going to fit on this little... BWC, so let's see how to. No, I need tiny beads. I need tiny beads! If you guys ever find yourself in Hawaii and on the island of Maui, come and look me up or give me a holler and we'll get together. I'll invite you to my mess because I have a mess, but I'm sure you guys are my friends, so you're not going to judge my crafting mess. But. I would invite you and you could spend a day crafting with me. It is fun. I have a lot of fun and I do have a lot of cool stuff. So if you find yourself here, let me know. Okay, but you can make this any way you want to. Hell is your first name, Purple Creations, Lorelei. Lorelei, you could make this any way you want. You don't have to do it my ridiculous way. You could. Let me just see how if this is going to look good or not. No, I don't know, guys. I do have a lot of fun here in my little space, and I have a beautiful view of the mountains. I live about a mile from the ocean, and I love it. I don't live close enough to where if the tsunamis come, that'll that it'll make a mess in my that I'll <laughs> I'll end up in a mess, if you know what I mean. Not that you always end up in a mess, but you know when you live in a place where the natural disasters are really out of your, like you can't avoid any of it, you, so I had a moment today where I was thinking, um, that I was just having between what happened yesterday and today and my whole morning. I mean, you have to realize when you live in a place like I live, the time difference is so different. So by the time whoever's calling you from the East Coast, and it's like really early in the morning for you. And, you know, they hit, they hit the floor running in the East Coast, and we sort of ease our way into life here. And if you've lived here long enough, you sort of adapt that even if you don't even know you're adapting it so I think this morning it was like like a bomb went off and I and I was barely able I was barely awake does that make sense it was like an energetic bomb went off in my life and I was like wait who what how how what who where sort of feeling that's how it felt today that's how my day went Oh, Ash, come. Okay, I don't do Viking leaves. I'm a metalsmith. Honestly, beading is like, in a metalsmith's world, beading is like, not, um, I mean, I can wire up. I, I'm not a proper beater. I, I know people that can do some amazing beading work. That is not me, girls. I mean, I do my hack version, but not not the version of whatever they do. There's actually a, a famous beading artist, and I think her name is the same as yours, Michelle. I think it's Michelle Scott. I can't remember. I haven't seen her work in, in years. 
But she weaves people out of seed beads, and you guys should look her up. She is an amazing beading artist, and I will tell you, once you've seen someone like that, it makes you go, hmm, whatever I have to give ain't nothing. <laughs> Weaving people out of seed beads. I mean, you should see her artwork. It is stunning. It will bring you, it will make you breathless. And I've seen it in person, and it is amazing. I haven't seen it in years, but when I used to live in New York, I used to go to all those sort of like art shows. Okay, so there's our tassel so far. I've just made a, be a beaded veil on it, and now I'm just going to pick my mess up. My little tiny bead mess up, and then I'm going to wire up that one bead to it, and I think we're done. I'm going to put the sparkler in the middle. And then I think I'm done with this, unless I, let me, voila. What time is it here? Okay, I'm missing everything you guys are saying. Tigers come out. What? Okay. Oh, it's so beautifully put, Renette. Oh, it's so beautifully put. She says, tigers come out. And we do not realize it or where they came from, and it envelops all of our senses. So yes, grief itself is ongoing, and it just happens it may not hurt as deeply and as often as at first. You're right, Renette. You're very, very right. Thanks, Purple. Thanks for, thanks, thanks Lorelai. Um, Ash, I hope you can come out here. What time is it where I am? It's like five o'clock in the after in the evening, right? Five o'clock in the evening where I am. I don't know where you guys all are, but that's what it is here. Okay, so we are done. We are almost done with our necklace, friends. We are almost done. We are almost done. We are almost done. Now you know what. If you don't like the way it is, girls, you can always take it apart and do it again or take out just some part of it, whatever part you're not totally in love with. So don't get all married to the fact if it's not super perfect or if it if it's lacking something. Just make one. Make one and then make another and then make another. And you can see how inexpensive it was to make. I don't I don't know what I have in materials, but not much. I mean all the beads are stuff I had, so I can't say that I spent it. I didn't spend any money on any of it, but, you know, this would be something if you ever bought yourself one of those really inexpensive $10 kids bead kits at the store. You know, you can get them. I haven't been to a craft store in a really long time. I mean, we have one here, but they don't have that sort of stuff, but I'm sure a big box store would have it too. If you went to like a big box store and you got um, and you and you went and you checked it out and saw like whatever uh, you know whatever they have for you know what I mean like those teen box those teen uh, craft bead The teen craft bead kit or the 10 year old craft bead kit whatever one of those you could probably get one of those <clears throat> for ten dollars that would last you you could probably make I don't know 30 tassels out of it 30 necklaces like this out of it and so then all you would need is some ribbon and some fabric and you can use recycled stuff I can tell you the stuff that I got here all came from the thrift store I don't, I didn't have any, uh, it was from the thrift store or somebody gave it to me. It wasn't like something I went and, and bought for myself. So, and you don't need very much. You know, you needed a little bit of ribbon. And you don't have to do it exactly the way I did it. You can do it in a different configuration than I did it. Okay, wait a minute. I will have to go and look at her. I will definitely go look, Melissa. I will go and look. Thanks for hanging with me, girls, and thanks for like being so understanding to my ridiculousness today. 
I promise. And next time we get together, I will be my back to my cheery self. I will be back to my... I just couldn't fake it today, girls. I just couldn't keep it together to fake it. I could not keep it together to fake it. All right, friends. We are done with this necklace. We are done with this necklace. Okay? What do you girls think? Okay, we are done. Let me see if I can get it in the frame without all the rest of the stuff in it. We are done with the necklace. So, you know, you could do it a different way than me, and I can I could fix a little bit of it. I may go back and fix a little. I don't know what I'm going to do, but all in all, I think I'm pretty satisfied with how it is. It is complete. It is complete. I might go I might go back and add a couple of seed I might go back and add a couple of beads to to the top of the to where it meets this bead, but am I happy with that? Okay, what are you girls writing? You're in for a storm and you have a huge orange pink sky. Oh, that's awesome. I mean not the storm, but the orange pink sky sounds awesome. Melissa, you have to look her up. I'll have to look, if I can figure out, I think her name is Michelle Scott. So I, I honestly, I'll have to look it up. She was an amazing, or maybe it's Carol. You know what? I'll have to look it up and put it in the description box below. Um, good. You have cheered me up. I am telling you. <laughs> no, I am good. I am so good. All right, let's make our, I'm going to clean up my desk a little bit and I'm going to find my glue sticks. And I'm going to make my paper, my serendipity paper. It's just a process, you guys. So get, um, it doesn't matter how big you want. You can, you can make it on a small piece. I'm going to do some random, couple random things and then, uh, run it through my die cutting machine. And then you can see how cool it looks. When you get, when you, when you first get it, you're like, what in the world did I do? You're like, I may go back because I'm not crazy about this pinky green bead. I don't know. We'll see. I have to let, live with it for a little bit. But I may like it. I may leave it. I don't know. But I, I think I'm going to add a couple of beads to it so that it, it tapers down more. Thanks, Sherry. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks, Lorelei. Oh, it's Laurel. Sorry. Or is it, is it? No, I said so bad. It's Laurel, not Lorelei. Sorry, Laurel. Thanks, Lucy. Make your own, you guys. Please make them and then let me know. Send me a message. I mean, I can go back and add some more beads. I may make a couple of more in different neutral colors, but this one was just the green one. So you see how it wasn't, I mean, if I was probably in a peppier mood, I would have done it faster. But you can see it's like, it's just technique, you guys. And if you, you can make it out of anything. You know, all of you go to a thrift store and get one bag of ribbon and fabric. I love this sort of, when I'm making necklaces, especially... For people, especially when they go over the neck, I like using this. I think it's like an offre ribbon, but you could use anything. My camera angle moved when I bumped my candle. Okay, I didn't bump the camera, but I believe you. Is that better or worse? Is that better or worse? I can't see it. Hold on. Let me, let me see if I can figure it. Let me just see if I can pull my camera angle up here. Oh my gosh, these paper beads look like cigarettes. Isn't that ridiculous? They do. Don't they look like cigarette butts in an, ash, in an ashtray? So ridiculous. Okay, let me just move my paper beads. Let me move my, my cigarette butt tray of paper beads. And let me move my beads. Let me move all my stuff over. And then I'm going to get my stuff for the paper. So did I fix the camera angle, Michelle, or did I not fix it? I can't tell because I can't. The one thing that I'm missing without my lovely, exciting, amazing older daughter here is that she could fix everything in like two seconds when it came to electronics. Me? I think I'm just challenged. It's ridiculous. You need a glue stick and some paper, girls. That's what you need. Glue stick and paper. Glue stick and paper. I'm picking up my beads and then I'm gonna I'll lay the necklace back out and you guys can see it I may mess with it a little bit more off camera or and then next time show it to you okay 
I may mess with it off camera and then next time show it to you. So can you see it? Is it good, bad, or indifferent? I can't tell. And I can't tell like what you guys, let me see if I can. Is that, can you see it better? Is that better or worse? Is the camera angle better or worse? Okay, you just need some paper and you need a glue stick. Okay, a permanent glue stick is better than a, than a, uh, you know what I mean, a non-permanent glue stick. You can use wet glue to do this, but um, if you use wet glue, you're not going to be able to run it through your die cutting machine until it dries. Okay, and somewhere around here, I thought that I had, oh my god, you guys, seriously, I need like, I need an intervention today. I should have just like said, okay, uncle, uncle. I had some pieces to show you, but of course I can't find it right here in front of me. No. Okay, I'll find it. Just give me a second here. It has to be here. Okay, I've made this many different ways. Okay, I have made it and I've made it with book pages. Let me see if you guys can even see me. Okay, let's see. Is that better? Let's see, Michelle's better. Okay, good. All right. All right. Let's see. Okay. So, if you're going to make this paper, get you need a background sheet. Okay, it doesn't matter what the background sheet is. You, you may see it, you may not see it, it is up to you, you know, so you can make it from anything. Okay, here's some old paper that I made a long time ago, okay? But when you put it through a die cutting machine, it looks amazing. It looks like crap right here. And this one I did after I glued it all together because I was making paper fabric. Have any of you guys ever made paper fabric? Same, similar technique as making paper fabric, okay? So... Here's a couple of sheets. Now this is stuff that I have painted on top of. You don't have to. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Then if you wanna go back before you cut, put it through your die cutting machine, but it looks like a big mess right here. I mean, they both look like a big hot mess, right? But it's so super simple and you can make paper fabric a simil the same similar way. If you're gonna make paper fabric, I suggest that you glue it on to some like a used dryer sheet or you glue it on to um some like super thin cheesecloth or muslin or something like that all right so all you do is you need a background page you've got all these book pages use them if you feel like it all right and let me grab my scrap bin of paper. You can use anything to make this with, um, any kind of paper, okay? So the idea is you're gonna take, it's almost like a collage, but in the end, you're going to, like, look at all these bits and pieces. This was from some magazine and some other thing. I've done it where you do it monochromatically, which I think looks amazing, which would be like where you would glue a bunch of pieces of pattern paper, I've put masking tape on it. I have uh, brown paper bags, writing paper. Um, I thought I had a thing of masking tape. I thought I brought one with me, but maybe I didn't. Maybe it's in my mind somewhere, the masking tape. So you can use anything, but you do need a background sheet of paper, all right? And then I'll show you what it looks like when you run it through a die cutting machine. It looks so cool. It comes out amazing. So I'm just gonna use book pages because that's what I have, all right? and it doesn't matter and just take you could do it with just you could do it with mo you could do it monochromatically and you could also use every piece of scrapbook paper that you have all those little tiny tiny sheets okay those little tiny sheets of um bits and pieces of paper that you have okay now, the thing is, is you're not going to use this paper as it is. 
So you're not going to like, I mean, I guess you could, you could if you wanted to make like an envelope, I guess. But you, what you're going to do is you're going to, um, you're going to, uh, use a die cutting machine or use a template to cut something out with it. So just start gluing things, papers, mine just happens to be monochromatic because that's what I have here in front of me. But any sort of, and this is a great way to use all of your super, super tiny scraps of scrapbook paper that you really love, especially like when you do have a die cutting machine and you use die cuts, right? So, like these are old dictionary pages, um, book pages. All right, so the first, so you just want to glue it, and you can do it with colored pattern paper too. Don't just be married to my thing. How many of you guys are going to make along with me? Who's making along? Can I see a show of hands of who's making along? Of who's making along with me? Okay. If you were going to, you're going to add this to elements of things you're going to do. You're not, it's not just going to be its own thing. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can let go of the perfection. If you do decide that you want to use a wet glue, do it after every, I wouldn't, if you wet, if you do it as a wet glue now, it's going to take a while to dry, which is fine. But I'm just letting you know. So, let me see if I can find my masking tape. I think it looks really cool with masking tape on it, but that's just my feeling and opinion. So, you guys can do it any way you want. This is a great way to make ATC backgrounds. Somebody in here earlier said they love to make ATCs. This is a great ATC background maker beginner whatever you want to say a doer this is also a great way to just you guys know my need for recycling you know it's just a great way to like carry on and recycle every single thing so you do need a base sheet use your book pages now if you don't want to use like if you want to use uh, like tissue paper and do this and you don't want to use book pages then fine because you know it's like whatever it's not it's not perfection I need a card usually I have a credit card right here but of course I don't have one today it's just how my day is going today so I'm just I'm just wanting my edges my my pattern paper to, to lay down so use permanent glue stick though I have done this with junk mail before. It looks really good with junk mail. It, um, I've done it with magazine pages, especially images and colors that I love. I've done it with all sorts of stuff. There's no rule to it. You can do it any old way you want. And you wait to see how it comes out. It comes out really great. You do want to make sure your pieces are glued down. You know, because when you stick them through a die cutting machine, they're just going to cut. And you want to make sure they're glued down. They don't have to be, like, you're using this as components. So it doesn't have to be, like, glued Mod Podge style gluing. But you just want it to be down. Okay? Now, you know, you can tear all your junk mail envelopes. I've done this with patterned envelopes. Those of you that know me well know how obsessed I am with, uh, with pattern envelopes, you know, with, um, you guys, what is it? Like a bill envelope, security envelope. Sorry, I couldn't think. My head, I'm telling you guys, I'm having like brain moments. I'm just having like a ridiculous brain moments. I think it looks good when you can get a bunch of different color pages and different fonts. I was just looking to see. I thought I had more pages on here, but I guess if you're gonna leave it where you're gonna be able to really read the text. You might want to go ahead and read it and make sure it's not racy. You guys remember my racy text story, right? So, You can use wax paper as a base. You can use anything as a base. You could use, you know, 
do any of you guys have scrapbooking paper that you that you hate like that's ugly like at one time it was amazing when you bought it but then like now you're looking back on it and you're like why did I ever buy that scrapbooking paper does anybody besides me have that am I the only one <laughs> am I the only one that have bought scrap paper that I don't like <laughs> or that I have and that I'm like why did I ever buy that okay so this is the first I'm going to cover just a little bit more of it now this is great especially for those book blocks if you're still here Rose Queen of Book Blocks this is a great way to use your book block paper you know you have all of your book blocks you can use anything as a base, girls. Don't get caught up on it. This is not rocket science. This is just one-of-a-kind paper, okay? It's not rocket science. It's one-of-a-kind paper. One-of-a-kind paper. Or serendipity paper, as my friend so lovingly told me years ago that I was making that I didn't even know. So that's the part that I love the best. Is that You don't even know you're making stuff. You don't even know that it has, like, a name to it. This was back when I thought that you had to make everything. So I would make kind of my own pattern paper like this. And anyway, you guys get the idea. You guys know me well enough to, to see my insanity. Okay, that's step one. Now, if you had some masking tape, I think it would be cool because I like the color or whatever's going on here with the masking tape would be good. Okay, so that's step one. Step two would be to stamp on top. Now... I have some cool stamps, and I got out some cool stamps. Somebody asked me the other day where I got my stamps. No idea, okay? These are called clear stamps, and they're by... Guys, the writing is so small, I can't even read it. Okay, it is by... These are Prima stamps, okay? These are really fun background-style stamps. You see them? Super fun. What am I missing? What am I? Oh, you want to hear my racy text story? Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. All right, my racy text story. Let me finish doing this and I'll tell you my racy text story. Okay, so my. I just have to decide, like, what I want on it. And, you know, this is a great way to use, like, say, stamps that you have that you haven't used in a long time or that you think, oh, that's kind of a cool stamp or that would be really nice to have. It's kind of fun to use that. Okay, so you made, Ash says she made a collage, and then she realized she used a piece of junk mail that listed drugs. Oh, oh, great. That said, I'm not going to repeat that word. Okay, you guys, I've already cried today on YouTube. Do I need to, like, oh my God, it's brilliant. And I'll tell you guys my racy text story. Are you ready? It's so ridiculous. Okay, you guys know me well, and you know how ridiculous I am anyway. Okay, so get your stamps out and start stamping on your paper. So you've got your paper like this, and then we're going to stamp on it, and then we're going to run it through our die cutting machine. Okay, so I have a really good friend, and I gave her a junk journal, and her grandmother happened to be visiting her, and she saw this junk journal that I made, and she saw this junk journal that I made, and she, you know, commented on how much she liked it. So I set out to make her a junk journal. Now you have to realize, you guys, I don't even read the books that I get. I get them usually. They're coming from the library or from the throwaway or from the, you know, I'm not like looking at what they're about. So, and honestly, for me, most of the time, I'm just getting a book because of the, quali the quality of the paper. Like I love Tim, Tom Clancy novels because of the quality of the paper, but they have to be written by him. You can't get like a pseudo Tom Clancy writer. The page quality is not the same. Anyway, so I, okay, so now you see where I've stamped all this. Okay, ready? Yes, you could make all kinds of backgrounds. The stamps are from Prima, and don't ask me where I got them. Somebody had to have gifted them to me, or maybe I bought them at Tuesday morning. You guys, I don't, I, there's no craft stores here where I live. I mean, there is one, but it's like ridiculously expensive, so I never go. Anyway. So that's the beginning of your serendipity paper. So I go and I get, make this woman, she's in her 80s, you guys. 
make her junk journal. And I make my pockets. You know, those of you that know me or have seen my work a lot, you know how I love making library pockets out of book pages? I jelly print on them and then I make library pockets. And if you haven't, go to one of my videos and you'll see it. So I make this woman this junk journal and I make her my library pockets and then I get this phone call and I, and I mean I go all out on this thing okay she says to me I just want to thank you you know when you're my age people think you're dead and they think that part of your life is over but I just want to thank you for acknowledging the woman that I am you guys I had sent her the text of gay porn it was a gay porn book I sent my 80 my friends 80 year old grandmother a junk journal filled with like racy text like one of them was a gay porn book and the other one was just like a pure sex novel heterosexual sex novel okay my friends 80 year old grandmother oh my god you guys so I'm just telling you that's why it rolls in my life there you go Okay, now you know my racy text story. The grandmother loved it. I was mortified. I was so mortified. I called my friend and I apologized. She goes, oh, no, you have no idea. You are the talk of our family. All right? So that's me. Okay? My, my life in a nutshell, ladies. My life in a nutshell. Okay. Here's my one-of-a-kind paper so far. All right? Do you get it? Do you get my serendipity paper? And you can also use, like, scrap of paper. Now let me take it to my die cutting machine. I know it looks like a hot mess. Yes, you could use it as a journaling background. Yes, you could do less stuff on it. Yes, you could paint on it. You could do anything you wanted to on it. But hang on a second. My die cutting machine, I'm going to show you. Okay, that's my life. Okay, so you guys asked me about my life. I told you guys I'm Lucy, right? It's, I, it's my I love Lucy. I'm so Lucy is what it is. And it's like ridiculous. Uh, I am the top of my friend's family because I sent her grandmother racy texts on the journaling pockets of her junk journal. All right? That is my life, girls. That is my life. Okay? You girls riding along with me, that is my life. All right, give me one second. I'm going to show you guys my... I'm going to show you part of my... Serendipity paper outcome. So start saving all your bits. You will love making serendipity paper. You will love using it in your mixed media work because yours will be the only one that's like it. And it will be awesome. Okay, so I took it over here to my die cutting machine are you guys like still laughing about my ridiculousness I told you okay so now you see you take it to your die cutting machine and you you end up with these beautiful pieces of one of a kind like I don't even know how to display it better so you can see it better one of a kind stuff for your artwork do you see isn't it cool it, it, it becomes like, and when you put it on, let me find something better to sh so it shows up. You guys, now you see my life. So you're, are you laughing yet? Are you, do you guys think I'm totally ridiculous yet? I've told you a number of times how ridiculous I am, but now you guys really see how ridiculous my life is. Now you see. See, I had the best of intentions, right? And what did I do? Sent my friend's grandmother porn. You know, it's like I can't even help myself. You guys, I can't make this stuff up. It's so ridiculous. You know, it's like most people probably go their whole lives and nothing like this ever happens. And, like, this stuff happens to me on a regular basis. You know? And so... I'm just like telling you that this is what happens in my world, okay? But do you see how cool this comes out? And this was like this crazy piece of paper, right? And then wait till you see. 
Isn't this cool? Can you imagine putting this on the front of your journal? Doesn't this look amazing? Let me find a piece of blank paper so you can see it on. Guys, I have no blank paper right here. I have only... But doesn't it come out like cool? Like so cool. So imagine you make yourself all of this really cool one-of-a-kind paper and then you, you know, go through and you... You know, you, you, you layer it and you and then you do this really cool stuff with it. Do you see? You're not laughing at me. We're laughing with me. This is my life, you guys. I mean, this is me. You think I make this stuff up. This I, I can't even make it up. You know, my partner ends up like, you have no idea. He just thinks that I'm ridiculous, and he laughs all the time. He thinks that things that I do are just so, like, who would this stuff ever happen to but me? Right? And he's right. It happens to me. I mean, it happens to me all the time. All the time. All, all, all the time. So I'm just showing you guys that you don't have to, like, have some crazy amount of, of, um, you don't have to have like, oh, I have, you know, I have to spend all this money on paper. You just have to have the willingness to like, just do something different, right? The willingness to like say, oh, I'm going to just go for it and I'm going to just try and see how it comes out. I'm going to see what it looks like. I'm going to see how it works. Sorry, you guys, I'm rolling one more through a die cutting machine. I can't find my... My flower dies, I looked for them earlier. My daughter, I'm telling you, I love her, but she has definitely, like. Okay, so from that piece of paper, for those of you that make inchies, isn't that cool? If you make inchies, isn't that a cool inchy background? Isn't it amazing? Like, and that's out of those papers that I made. I mean, this came out of that serendipity you guys saw me make it it's not hard okay so it's like it's like fun and you can create your own one-of-a-kind amazing things out of like scraps and stuff you're gonna throw away and so you know for those of you that make inchies and twinchies and all that this is so for you for those of you that make ATCs, this is an amazing way to make an ATC background. I mean, a really amazing way to make an ATC background. And nothing. I mean, and yours is going to look like something so unique and so one of a kind that you can make your tags like this. You could make your stuff for your junk journaling pockets like this. I mean, and all it is, is from your own recycled stuff. Okay? That is it. Right? It's a totally cool inchy background, isn't it? It's a totally cool inchy background. And this is like, you imagine making like these cool things and then you embellish your journals with them? Yours are going to look like nobody else's. So fabric paper is something similar, except that what you're going to do for your fabric paper is you're going to glue it to, you need it to be to something really pliable. So like I, this has a, a, a um, layer of Mod Podge on one side, on, on both sides actually, after I did the gluing. And so, you know, you can you can make it out of anything. You know, this has like got all these bits and pieces. It has some washi tape that came on a package. I did some stamping on it. I did some whatever I was had been painting something on the back side. One of my kids had scribbled on it. I don't know. It was and, it, and look, it's a Tom Clancy novel. You guys, isn't that crazy? Okay, Sherry, don't get caught up on the die cutting thing. 
Okay, now I have you sorting scraps. See, you guys, welcome to my craziness, all right? And then I was crying earlier. I'm sorry I was crying, you guys. I am like, I'm a little embarrassed by that, but anyway. I can usually keep it together. I just couldn't today. Um, what's cool about it, Sherry, don't get caught up in a die cutting thing, okay? Because look, you don't need a die cutting machine to cut these, okay? You do not need a die cutting machine to cut squares. You don't. I didn't have a die cutting machine the very first time I ever did this, okay? So don't think that you need that. You don't need it. You don't. You do need a good pair of scissors and you do need to have the patience. So if you're going to draw a flower, you're going to need to like make a template, draw it, and cut it out. You know, you don't, and, and I'm going to tell you something, you don't even need an expensive die cutting machine, okay? Somebody sent me this one. And I'll show you how it works because I don't know where the... <laughs> because my daughter cleaned out my craft room, you guys. <laughs> Somebody sent me this. I'm going to show it to you. I was going to show you how to use it today, but I can't find the plates. Because my daughter, because they're tiny, 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 and my daughter cleaned out my stuff, and she probably sorted it in something because she didn't know what the hell it was. Okay? So this is, I don't know what it's called. It's like the tiniest die-cutting machine ever. Do you see it? The plate's really small. And it uses, you can use uh, the Sizzix Thinlets die dies in it. You can use the Sizzix. You can use all those dies you've got, Diana, which I don't know what they are. Um, but you know what I'm talking about? The, the, the ones that are just metal? What are those called? Thinlets? Is that Thinlets? Or, and then those really small Sizzix dies. I will promise you guys by my next live stream, I'll find the plates for this and show it to you. Okay, you can buy one of these online for $20, and they come with the plates. So then all you need to do is get the dies. And you can use totally use your punches. You can totally use your punches. Okay, girls. You can totally use your punches. But can you imagine, think about your journaling, your journals, right? And think about like your journal covers and how you're gonna take your crazy one of a kind paper that look, may not look great here, but once you cut it out, it looks great. Or think about your cool inchies. If you're in an inchy swap and you say, hey, I'm gonna like make my one of a kind serendipity paper. And you know, but it's good to make yourself a whole sheet okay make yourself a whole sheet of whatever you're gonna do because it, it just it works out better when you have something bigger to work with like when you have like a sheet of but now all those book blocks and all those book pages that you have I mean you can do it so if you Diana you can start small you know you don't have this is not I promise next time I will have, but the time we have our next live stream, I will go through my stuff and I will find the place for that little tiny die cutting machine and show you that's, and I will also find, I made some envelopes, some Happy Mail envelopes with this paper and I'll find those. I also made some book pockets with this paper and I made some embellishments around the edges of a journal. Bye, Laurel. Take care. Thanks for joining us. Thank, we, I'm appreciative. Thanks for hanging with me. And thanks for your kind words. I really appreciate them. They, they really mean a lot. So, girls, you sat through my extravaganza. <laughs> you sat through my extravaganza. Yep. My extravaganza. What's even cooler about this is if any of you, like, have um, letter letter dies you know like the alphabet or letter punches these look so awesome they look so awesome as in letters like if you were gonna write if you make cards or you're gonna write big letters so that is that's my 411 So that is it. That is what that is my my one of a kind paper, my 
And I have done this. So when I first began paper crafting, I honestly thought you had to make your own stuff. That's how naive and silly I was, right? So I went through and I made my own paper just the same way I just showed you. So that, good night, Scotty. Um, the same way that I showed you so that I could make my own embellishments because I didn't know any different. Okay? That is what I did. Is that funny? That is just, it, that's just how it was for me because I didn't know any, I didn't know anything else. But imagine what you can do. Okay, ladies. Well, I will try and do a stream on Friday and hopefully by then I'll be in a really great space. And what do you girls want to do on Friday? Thanks, Michelle. Night, Michelle. You guys go check her channel out. Go check out Michelle's channel. And check out all the people that they told you in the chat because I can't remember everybody. But So I think on Friday I can... I will... What would you girls like to do on Friday? Night, Renette. Um, are you leaving me now, Renette, too? What would you girls like to do on Friday? I'm going to tell you what I've been working on or what I have on my agenda that I haven't finished. I've been doing some iCADs. Would anybody be into doing some iCADs? I'm just a hardcore artist at heart. <laughs> Uh, oh, thanks, Alicia. <laughs> thanks, Michelle, for inviting everybody. Michelle, you're awesome. Good night, Scotty. So, um, I've been doing an iCAD a day. I haven't done them every single day, but I've had, I've made a bunch, and I can, we can do a couple of those together. I'm still working on, I have some journal covers I'm working on. iCADs are so, and they're addictive, right? And you can do a lot. Night, Michelle. Everybody go check out Michelle's channel, okay? Check out her channel. I'll link, I'll put a link, in, when I go live on this thing, I'll put a link in the description box down at the bottom way. Bottom of the way. That's why I do things the hard way, because I'm hardcore. I think I'm just silly. I think I'm just, I don't know. So, we can work on iCAD. Um, we can do some more serendipity paper, and I'll get my serendipity stuff out for you. We can, um... I have a bunch of stuff that I've been working on. Like, I have a box of in-process projects. So, we can do that. And you guys can, if you have some suggestions, just let me know. You guys are so awesome. I appreciate it. Michelle, thank you for your love and support. I so appreciate it. Thank you, ladies, for dropping by. Um... And go check out Michelle's channel, everybody. Subscribe. Thanks, Renette. Big hugs to you. So, iCADs. All right. So, iCADs it is. So, we'll do iCADs on Friday and maybe some, maybe I'll show you guys some of my inches and twenties. All right, girls. As always, as always, always. Oh, thanks, Ashley. I do have over 2,000 subbies. Thank you. They did. And I think that's for, it's probably all Michelle's doing. Michelle's the reason I have new subbies. Thanks, Michelle. She's got my back. <laughs> she's like, she, she is, she's got my back. Yeah, everybody go subscribe to Michelle's channel and watch her videos. Um, so girls, I'm going to just, I'm going to breathe in. I'm going to send you guys so much love. And as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you guys so much aloha. Girls, thanks for being there for me today. I really needed it. I so appreciate it. I can't tell you how much. See you girls on Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. All right, big, big hugs. Night, Sherry. See you soon. See you on Friday. Maybe I'll see you on Friday. <laughs> <laughs>